Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear me? <laughs> if you can hear me, put it in the chat. Mic showing has been on. Desktop audio. Okay, I'm getting an error message that video resolution is not good enough. That's not good. I appear to have lost that. I knew this was going to be a disaster. Let's try this. That's why I haven't put the screen up yet, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Audio is fine. Sounds great, brilliant, that's good. We just seem to have problems with the um, stream settings. That's, yeah, hence the Darwin card. I put the Darwin card up first because I knew this wouldn't go right straight from the start. I'm not quite sure why. Right. Can everybody now see me on the screen or not? I don't think they can, can they? Yeah, the picture of farm dog still there. Hmm. So you can see the tractor, you can see me, yeah? Brilliant stuff, right. Well, why is that saying I've got poor resolution? I don't know why that is. Excellent stuff. So, look. I'm on camera. I'm here. We've got a load of stuff to test out today. So you can hear me fine. You can see me. Farmer Pierce in the chat. Hello, my friend. Ross B, Simon Potts, Dean Newman, Scouse Taffy Gaming, Rob York, Anthony Travis. Lots and lots of people. Right. Well, yeah, so it's test time. Man Cave. I want to give a massive, massive shout out um, to John, who I mentioned the other day, who sent me out the... Um, Stream Deck. My Stream Deck is up, it's running. So, DJ's in the house. Grizz, Dave, Smock, Farmer. Hello, everybody. So, Pete is here. Well, lots of Pete's, actually. Got quite a few. So, I need to test a few things out, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope this works. So, I've got my Stream Deck. I've been spending the last couple of days setting this all up. <laughs> so, fingers crossed on this. What should happen... I need to test whether you can see certain pictures, whether you can hear certain sounds, and all that kind of stuff. So, first things first. I'm going to go from small screen to full screen. And hopefully, when that goes full screen in a moment for you, which it should do, because I think there's a little bit of a delay, I need to, you to let me know whether you can see me full screen. Which it will do. 100 viewers already. Good stuff. As long as people are hitting that like button, that's all I need to worry about. So that should, there's a little bit of a delay behind that. Or maybe I've set the um, delay too long. There we go. How's that? Full screen? Full screen working? Get in. I'm very happy with that. That's good. So, full screen's working. Brilliant. Okay, next test then. <laughs> Everything's going on behind me. All my stuff's here. You can only just about see the mics. So that's all right. I'm happy with that. Uh, what's the next thing I need to test? Oh yeah, right. So let's just double check then. If I go back to small camera, like that. Two Farm Sim Legends. Just DJ, in it? Hello from Australia. Hello, hello. This is very exciting. Um, Recorders of Farb Dog with the touch of a button. Well, there's a couple of things I'm going to be testing out as well. Um, well, I might do. Um, I've managed to work out a way of setting my um, my mobile phone as an extra camera. So if I ever need to show people stuff, I can move that around, which will, will be great. So um, the PS5 stall is working absolutely fine. No worries about the PS5 stall. Don't worry about that. It's all good. See, it's really weird. This is saying... 
I need to change the resolution. The current resolution is not supported for this configuration. It says open widget. I've got a message, but it all seems to be running fine. Ah, well, as long as you can all see it and it looks clear to you, that's the main thing. Hello, Dan. That chubby guy, Smock Farmer. <laughs> a pro live streamer, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's not what I'm seeing from where I am, but you know, hey, it's all a start, isn't it? So, next test then is sounds. Haha, <laughs> and some other pictures are going to come up on the screen as well. So, I want you to tell me if you can hear this. Did you hear anything? And if you did, let me know in the chat. <laughs> we'll get onto some farming in a moment, don't worry. I know we're like seven minutes in and we're just getting started, but that's cool. I'm, I think I'm going to be on here for a couple of hours. You heard that. That's all good. That's all good. Brilliant stuff. Right, what about this? Nice. Should have been a clock ticking. Can you hear the clock ticking? <laughs> it's all working. I'm amazed. Yep, that's working. Brilliant stuff, right? <laughs> awesome. Next then. Now this is, if, if anyone donates or anyone does anything amazing or does anything spectacular, you should get this. They are a bit quiet. Okay, I, I can go into my um, my settings and I can turn that up on my um, stream deck settings so i'm going to do that brilliant stuff so you hear the cheering which means then and the next one i did myself because hey you know sometimes you just have to have some nice undulations happy with that did that work <laughs> Yeah, just. Yeah, that trouble is, I think I might need to adjust the recording setting on that and do that a little bit louder, right? Because that's set on maximum, that one. So I'll oh, fiddle around with that. That's all right. That needs to be louder. Okay. The sounds are pretty quiet. I can upgrade those. I can do that. Um, so next then, again, if someone donates, does something amazing, you should get in picture a thumbs up from Mr. Silly P. Can everyone see that? Got your thumbs up on screen? Is that there? <laughs> Okay, a bit on the quiet side. But I, can, I, I can work on the sound effects. That's not a problem. Thumbs up. Nice. Cool. Uh, next one then is a pointing at you. If you do something cool, you get a point. Nice. Miss Silly P pointing. That's working. I'm, I'm, this is brilliant so far. Awesome. Okay. So the pointing finger, that's working fine. Oh, hey, all my settings, I've, I've labelled all my stream deck. I'm, I'm doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. Yeah, we want you. Mr. Silly P wants you. Brilliant stuff. That's the thumbs up. And then if Farm Dog comes in or he's barking or something happens, we do have a Farm Dog approved. Farm Dog approved should be up there. Everyone see the Farm Dog approved? <laughs> I should have an explaining, not complaining button. You know what? That's a very good idea. Because um, I am learning how to use this stream deck and the exponential use of the buttons and setting up folders and stuff like that. Brilliant stuff. Right, farm dog. Nice. Um, right, let's go back out of there. So, turn farm dog off. Right. Um, and then we should have, because of, um, obviously, G Portal, um, when I'm playing on multiplayer and talking about G Portal and um, being a G Portal partner and G Portal subscriptions and going to get, you know, go and get yourself a server and use my discount and stuff like that. I have also got my G Portal logo, which hopefully, if I've done this right and I come out of my pause, should sit just below that in the corner. How's that doing? That all right? Hello from Denmark. Just looking at the screen so far. Grizz, Bob, Stephen, Brian, Morgan, Roger, Dan under Farmer, Nod Jensen, is that Godot Farming? Yota 6, Rob. Yep, we got that. That looks great. Top right. <sighs> Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we are live and things seem to be working. So I, apart from adjusting some of those sound effects, which we can do, we can get the G portals up there. That's looking good. Awesome stuff. Now, whilst I'm not actually on the G portal server for doing this, I'm on a standard multiplayer, but 
still um, supported by G Portal. And like I say, if you're looking for a really affordable and very helpful um, set of guys out there, and they will they will help you out. And on my Discord, if you're in the Discord, guys, Dust Bunny Fifty Four. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, now there's one last button I need to check. If for any reason at all I need to remove the camera completely, I should have a webcam on off. Webcam should have gone off the screen. Has the webcam gone? I think so. Looking good. Looking good. I'll put it back on because we need it back on. <laughs> Royal Army Medical Corps. On the playground. I, I, oh man, I loved doing drill. I loved it. I never got my DI. Um, uh, I, I was never an official DI, but I taught drill, drill and discipline on the uh, air cadet unit. Loved it. Anyway, um, right. So, have I been watching Fast and Farmerish on BBC Three? I haven't watched any of them. I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched any of them. Um, so yeah, um, I probably should do. Should jump on and see some. I'm trying to work out as well, because I could have sworn there was a way of just having my chat open and the rest closed. Pop out chat. That's what I want. Minimise that. Minimise that. Just have the chat. There we go. That's better. And now I've got it in exactly the right place. Brilliant stuff. Right. That's over to that side. That's there. That's all good. You were in air cadet for five years. Nice, Dan. Right. So. Click the old fingers. I've got work to do. Like I said, I'm here on Court Farm. For episode six, we are on. Thank you for joining me. Thank you if you're in the chat. I'm just trying to... I've got three screens, as you've seen, set up now. So what I'm trying to do is make sure I've got everything in the right position so that when I start all this up, um, I can see everything where it needs to be. I can put things on the screen, take them off. I can adjust all my settings as I'm going. So this is like... So this is this is a real... Um, this is a learning curve for me. I've done a little bit of streaming here and there every now and again, but not with a setup like this. Um, I'm working now with having multiple cameras, the stream deck, all sorts of stuff I've never done. So this was the whole point about me moving out to the man cave. Um, was that now I'm out in the man cave, I can stream whenever I want. Now I've set this one up and it's running, which is how I needed it to be. Although weirdly, um, I thought I had more control from when I started. I need to talk to my, my, my expert, Mr. Dalek JD, who will give me some helpful tips and tricks but um yeah all the details on my server for the for the um for the the, uh, the multiplayer servers on my discord they're all there um and they are available if you go onto the discord become a discord member um there are two servers running at the moment and you can jump on and play multiplayer i don't get on there i i, I wish i did get on there more often um but like i said before it's, it's busy um all right, Steve. I've had three screens for years now. The third one's it's an old. It's I mean it's properly. Can I say it's, it's properly knackered? Um, it's an old 1080, and it's really faded. It's to my right, and that's literally just got got my um, OBS stuff open, so I can see it. it doesn't need to be as important. Um, does Farm Dog approve of the new setup? The, it is Farm Dog approved, ladies and gentlemen. It is Farm Dog approved. Hello, Farmer Beats. Howdy. Um, so I can turn that off. Right. <laughs> Electric situation is sorted. Thank you, Dust Bunny. Haven't had a problem. No more issues whatsoever. I haven't had the PlayStation um, crash again. I haven't had any power problems. Everything seems to be working. So, um, link for Discord should be in the description for the video. There should be a link on my main channel page as well. Um, see, that's the other thing I've got to do. See, I, this is my first time streaming. I say properly. Like I say, I have streamed before, but this is the first time. Um, but um, I need to work out things like getting the Discord link to pop up. I know I've got a couple of my um, uh, Discord moderators who are here in the chat 
if anyone could just pop that in I, that, those are things i need to learn how to do i need to get those out and i think i can do them from the stream deck you can do youtube stuff you can do uh, discord all sorts there's all sorts of plugins and i can have things preset so if i haven't got anyone from my moderators i can just press a button and they will go in but i've got to learn how to set that up we'll get there hello bryce from nevada area 51 or anywhere near there um we're up and running hit that like button people hit that like button like i say i'm gonna be streaming for probably quite a while now um i've got a load of stuff to do here on on court farm and um, i thought rather than just do it all off camera and put an audio book on i need to test out the, out the system so let's get the system up and running i'm gonna go back to full screen once more time so you can see me in all my glory hello ladies and gentlemen we're here it's working i can't believe it i'm in the big leagues i'm up with the big boys now all, all the big streamer type peeps so hopefully i'll be streaming more often because actually this was a lot easier to set up and get going and now i know that my sound's working apart from adjusting the sounds on the stream deck it's all working all right so yeah i've got to remember because i'm looking at the screen not the camera it's all those things you've got to learn how to do all that so anyway let's go back let's go back to small screen i have also got a pc screen button so if ever want to show you anything on um on uh, the the PC screen, I can do that. So yeah, right. Anyway, on with doing some of this. So we're here on Court Farm. Um, I haven't heard from Caleb in a week. I'm a, I'm a bit concerned. I'm a bit concerned. Maybe I've done something wrong, or I wasn't doing it properly, and I've been I've been dropped. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, it's early morning, 7:57 here, September two. Uh, I am partway through a harvest contract. I'm partway through a baling contract. We've got a grass field to mow and we've got silage clamping to do. I've also got some um, fertilizer spreading to do. So I thought, you know what? Let's just let's just do it. And, and I won't be looking at the camera all the time, but I had to put it where it is, to the side, simply because my mic is right here. And if I move the camera any further over, the mic's right in the way of the camera, and it would just this is just the way it worked out. So it's all good. Um, okay, Grizz. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Not <laughs> if you're supposed to be at work. <laughs> um, well, I've been moving to Chipping Norton with Caleb when the map comes out. It depends if it comes out on console. Um, you see another YouTubers behind my back. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's fine. I was just if that was my only interaction with him, other than when we went to Diddy Squat Farm, I'm over the moon. I chatted to him. We messaged. He rang me. I mean, that in itself. Like I said when I did my live, that blew my mind. Just absolutely blew my mind. Um, anyway. Face to the voice. I've done a few, I've done some live streams and stuff before. Hello, Flying Taurus, how are you? Waking up to Miss Silly P live. Mm, okay, that's right. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Buenos dias. I, I will say now, I, I will often try different languages. I will often try the accents, but I'm never that good at them. So apologies if I destroyed that. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be coming out. Anyway, right, let's get in here. Let's start this up because I need to get this down to a field down by um, Stony Bridge Farm. Stony Bridge, full of Stony Bridges. What series was that? There was a weird series that had that on. Anyway, so, yeah, like I say, I've got a load to do, so we're just going to be getting on with it. The chat's going to be on, it's going to be live, we can yeah, and just chat away, smash that like button. And hopefully we'll do a little bit more of it. I'm thinking what I might do at some point, if people are in my Discord, is setting up a Discord Q&A at some point. Hello, Hydra, and everyone in the chat. Exactly, hello to everyone in the chat. Oh, I'll tell you what, my nose is streaming this morning. There's another there's another bout of the dreaded ugh, the dreaded COVID. Was it absolutely? I knew it was for some <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Um Yeah, it's doing the rounds again. A few people that we know, the family know, um, are real not good. Grave Robber eighty eight. Good day from Australia. Monday night, of course it would be, wouldn't it? I thought if I start streaming about lunchtime then I should be sort of catching um, Omatana's new map coming out. That woman is lovely, honestly. You, you will not find a nicer lady. She, the woman's just absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm getting more interactive. 
<laughs> like I say, this was the next step. The moving out to the man cave, setting this up as a studio, being able to stream whenever I want without interruptions. I mean, I will get interruptions, I'm sure. Um, hello, Kano from Lincolnshire. Not too far. I say not too far. It's a bit of a drive from where I am, but not too far. Thank you, Down Under Farmer. All oh, right, you need that and that. Thank you, Down Under Farmer. <laughs> That's got to keep going. That's for you, Down Under Farmer. Thank you very much. Very generous. Oh, no, you've got, you got it now. Oh, that's not good. I know um, Kermit, uh, Kerminator, that works for Giants in the US office, came back from uh, PAX... Was it West or East? What was the last one? West? And, and had, had it and has been very ill. Not good. Anyway, so we're heading out. Yeah, we hope you'll get well soon, Muppet. Oh, that sounds awful, sound that. You Muppet. But anyway, yeah. Um, what's that say? Jake up. Top of the morning. Let's get the lights on. Now, I'm thinking what we might do. We've got Montreal, Canada in the house. We're going all different ways around this time. Uh, yeah, we might even sort out buying that, that um, cow pasture for um, Caleb. He has asked... Because we are going to need to get the cows in here at some point. But like I say, I've, I've, I've just got a load of jobs to do. And I was going to do all this off, off screen. So I thought, you know what? No, let's just get... Yeah. Just suddenly thought, did I take the, uh, the picture of me and my thumbs up? Off the screen, I did. So we're all good. Now, where am I heading? To... I think it's this way. I can't remember. Uh, where have I put my trophy from YouTube? Where I'm sitting now is up on the wall. If I get that camera, if I get my camera working, I'm not sure if I can get that working. Um, I'm using controller at the moment. I've got um, I've got a Fanatec direct drive wheel. Um, it takes a bit of setting up. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just don't know if this is going to work actually, but we'll try it. Let's see if it does work. It worked right the other day. Um, I want. So it depends if it comes up on there. It should do. But it was playing up the other day. Sorry, I'm just trying to set up my separate camera. Um, oh, I can imagine, Brian. Yeah. No taste buds or smell. A few people I know. That happened to them. Yeah, it just, it just went completely. Come on. You should be working. Oh, it's decided not to work for some reason. It's one of those things I suppose I should have set this camera up before I started. It worked fine the other day and I don't know why it's not doing it now. Um, i trying to think if I've got an app on here that I'm supposed to open with it. But I can't remember. Oh, I'll tell you what it could be. Um, if I go into that setting... No. Oh, hang on. Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> so, there you go. That's droid cam. Oh, it's upside down. That way around. There we go. That's for you. So, that's using my phone. So, that's droid cam. It is working. It's working. You can see it. Yeah, that's droid cam. So, that's using my Android phone. Like that. And I can have that come up on the screen if I want to, but I need to be looking there. So now I've got cameras all over the place. But the good thing about this is, um, yeah, it's up and it's working. If I flip this round, what I can do then, he says, I want to go back camera. So what I can do, I can show you stuff. Although that's back to front now. But um, yeah, that's gone around the wrong way. That's annoying. If I do it that way around, that should show up. There it is. There it is up on the wall. Look. So that was the whole point of doing this camera, was that I could show you stuff. Look. So if ever I need to show anyone anything, unfortunately it's got the little ad thing on there, but there's my, uh, there's me award. Look, up on the wall. 
How cool is that? So that's weird how that keeps doing that way, that way. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, picture in picture. But I can turn that back off again. Don't need to have that on. Go back to that setting. But it does work. But just showing you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the world's gone mad. The world's gone mad. Oh, hello, Niall. How's it going? I have to say, it's, it's going all right. Man Truck 29, hello. Wordus 92. Looks very well organised. Okay. Let's say yes. <laughs> I'll have to make... I, I will not be moving that to make room for the gold one. I don't think. Unless something incredible happens. Thank you, Dan Under Farmers. Very kindly. So anyway, let's get on with this. The sun is coming up. September 2. I've got this contract to complete, this harvest contract. I've then got a baling one, which I've completed, but I just need to deliver the bales. I need to talk to you guys about all the bales that I've done here on um, Court Farm, because I have been doing work for um, KCC, which was kind of what I should have been doing. I'm on Court Farm. What map is this? You must have jumped on the stream. It says it on the, on the thumbnail, doesn't it? It should do, and in the description. We're on Court Farm. You should have been following it anyway. Come on. Mark Webber Webster in the hoose. More cameras than the Hollywood movie. The other thing I was going to try and do as well, because my PlayStation camera, because I've got a PS5 camera, that's on top of my PS5 screen, but it's looking... The direction it looks in points at my wall of um, airsoft weaponry, um, which is frowned upon quite a lot. No, it's fine, Mac truck, sorry, uh, uh, Man Truck 29. I'm... I'm, I'm winding you up. It's fine. Uh, so, let's turn that on. You've been trucking on... I've never played ETS or ETS. I've never played them. Well, probably because I play mostly on... There was that one that came out on console. I got sent um, like an early access to. It, it wasn't great. It was all right, but it was... What was it called? The, the truck... It's, we're just truck simulator or something, isn't it? I can't remember what it's called. No. Um, anyway. <laughs> Corn hub? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Good morning, Trucker John. Chris D. Uh, there, is a, there is a Thompson. There is an M1. Uh, what else have I got? I've got an MP40. Uh, I've got a Colt Peacemaker. Uh, I've got a couple of M4s, or three M4s, actually. Oh, actually, one's an XM177. Um, it's not buffering my end. I'm not getting any lag or any issues here. So I hope it's all right. Apologies if it is. Yeah, I don't know. It could be... It could be... There's always that thing of... Um, it could be my end, could be your end, could be something in between. Something like that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to finish off this harvest, get this delivered. Although this one, the only downside I will say of this, this map is um, some of the routes take a while. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I don't mind driving through the countryside. And that's what I said. If I stream for a couple of hours, I stream for a couple of hours. It's all good. Um, oh, you're absolutely right. I do need to get more real-life tractor driving experience. Um, like I said, I did, I did a tractor driving experience... Uh, second best armed farmer in the city. I, I bet I'm not. I, I reckon um, there's a lot of American um, farmers who are very well armed. Um, farmer King George just hit 300 subs. Congratulations. Absolutely congratulations. Like I said, I've told the story many times before about when I hit 100. And you hit it and you think it's the biggest number ever. And, and you just don't think, you know, you can't imagine it getting bigger. Then you hit 1,000 and then it goes, and you know... But congratulations, because the one thing you should never do, you see these big YouTubers on millions and millions of subscribers, and they tend to be very derogatory about sm small YouTubers and little channels. They were a little channel once. Remember that. Remember. We were all little ones, you know. Good thing with this as well is, you'll be able to get um, all the bits I normally edit out. <laughs> all the stupid voices. <laughs> Peter V from Belgium. Hello. Hello, Jerry Winters. 
Um, yeah, all the bits I normally edit out will be on here. Because I can't edit them out. The silly voices, the stupid faces, all the silly things that I just say out loud without thinking about. It's all going to be here. I don't know why I'm raising my eyebrows at my, my mic. The camera's there. I went out when me and Mrs. Silly P back. Hmm. Unfortunately, Mrs. Silly P has been a victim of her own success. Um, Jack Bevington, welcome to the Farm Sim community, my friend. He's been playing a week and is fully hooked. I know what you mean. Thank you, our farms. Um, when did the hats start? I had to. I did bring some out. <laughs> I brought some out because I knew people would ask. The problem is, I can't see on my live chat the likes and dislikes. Not dislikes, I don't want to see the dislikes. How many likes we've had. Um, so, just thinking now actually whether or not I should have that open. How are we looking? Concurrent viewers 188, 120 likes. Okay. Shouldn't we have more than that? I don't know. 193, 126. I keep those lights coming in. We can do it. Um, yeah, we can do it if we hit a certain amount of likes. It depends how many people view. I know because I didn't put up a thing. I'll, I'll be honest, the way round I thought it worked was if I set it to streaming live on OBS and then I would go on to YouTube and I can set it live on YouTube. I set it live on OBS and it went live automatically. Thank you, Frank. That chubby guy just shy of 400 subscribers. Jump over, give him some love. Um, thank you, Rob. You like the studio cave? Yeah, it's not a man cave now, because I kept saying man cave studio, but it's the studio cave, isn't it? Cave studio, studio, yeah, studio cave. Farmer Foley's in the house. Hello, Farmer Foley. Hope you are doing well, my friend. I mean, yeah, games is a difficult one. Um, I've said it so many times before. People keep asking me, um, am I going to go back to SnowRunner? Am I going to go back to Construction Simulator? Um, and I play Gran Turismo, you know... The problem I've got is, with all of them, it's time. And I absolutely love some of those. I just noticed those harvesters out in the field. No way. That harvester's moving, I've just noticed. Look, over behind me. We've got lorries and stuff on the road, which is fine. But that's, technically, that's off the map. There's a harvester running over there. And a tractor in the field. How nuts is that? That's fantastic. I just caught a movement out of the corner of my eye, out the window. And I thought, if Mrs. CDP was going to come out at any point too, um, she'll come and look in the window to see if I'm streaming. It was a pigeon on the fence. That just scared the life out of me. Um, Pete's got five days off. Cool. Anyway, so I'm doing what I always do. I'm coming on here. I've got so much to do. And like I say, I'm probably just going to just keep going, I guess. I might, if, people, if there's enough people watching, and people, well, it doesn't matter if there's not. I'll keep the stream going and I'll just carry on doing what I'm doing. Why not? I can put on the, um, the little um, droid cam, the phone cam, again in a moment. Because someone asked me about... I, I sh oh, I don't know, I'll get in trouble if I show the gun wall. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a Colt 1911 as well that I got for Christmas from Mr. Dalit JD, and I love it. It's so cool. It's my my wall of guns that <laughs> guns that change the world. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know what I mean. It's um not all of them, but oh, I've never seen that in fit. That's just I know it says on the on the thing it's all custom. There's custom this, there's custom that, you know, and and there's all some, there's some really cool stuff. Um, well, that's amazing. Is it Ansel Ganger? 
also in your man cave, but to train to lose fat. I'm still ketoing. I have lapsed. I feel terrible. Um, I lapsed a little bit. So I'm back on it. Inch off, keep going. When I get a full load, now this is the problem I've got on this one, is if we go to our active harvesting. So that baling one's complete, but I've got to take the bales. I've delivered everything I need to. Um, electrical problems, yes, farm sim Bob, thank you very much. Um, you watch Miss Dalit JD. Mr. Dalit JD is my eldest daughter's boyfriend. They live together. <laughs> and the guy's a legend. I absolutely love him. Honestly, he's a fantastic... He's just a fantastic bloke as well. Just a really nice guy. Anyway, this one, harvesting. We've got to take this to the garden centre. So if you've been on Court Farm before, you'll know the garden centre is all up there. So what I need to try and do is get to this road out here, which involves... I'm trying to think. There's, I think I can go in through the farm. I, I get in trouble if I use people's farm tracks. Um, it's a lot of backwards and forwards otherwise. It's all over. I can go up there. And it's, it's a long drive. I've got a long way to go. But it's what it is. Um, the campsite does change over time. It was you, Pete. I knew. It. Yeah. You only have three caravans on site and no tents. Oh, okay. Pipe in. Yes, I've got a bit of a drive to get to there, but we'll get there. This field's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It's not going to take much more to fill this up, actually, but we'll get there. If we have any left over, this will be going, because we're doing this for KCC, we're going to put it into the silo at Court Farm. My thoughts, my thoughts on the new expansion, or are you just asking generally in the chat? We can ask generally in the chat. Oh, I was saying one about Discord. It's about setting up on Discord a Q&A. So if you're in my Discord, a QA and a um, thing. So if anyone's got any questions specifically they want to ask me, which they can do in the chat now while we're chatting. Um, I know I, I'm, I'm doing what a lot of YouTubers don't do. A lot of YouTubers will only interact with people who have donated. So if you super chat, they will only respond to a super chat. I generally just kind of chat with the chat. I, I, I just find, I don't know, I just find it a little bit difficult. Um, but I guess I just kind of chat. A lot of people do that, you know, um, two bunker silos on court farms. Court farm. Mm -hmm. um, I know of the one. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, some people, it's just, if you, if you do a super chat, when that comes up, they will answer that question, because you've asked a question on the super chat. You've kind of paid for the person's attention. Um, but, yeah, I thought about maybe if every now and again, do a live stream like this, whatever I'm on at the time, or maybe on something separate, or just a, like a podcast chat, just have the camera on me, and we just sit and chat. And we can talk farming. We can just talk about what anyone wants. Anyone wants to talk about, whether it's regarding me, my life, farming simulator, Napoleon Dynamite. It is me, the Mr. Silly P, <laughs> in the studio cave. That's what we're calling it now, the studio cave. Um, yeah, my my keto. Yeah, I I um, I got down to what a five and a half six dome. Um, and I've put some back on again. Not a huge amount, but I'm back on it again. Um, so six was where I got to, and I should have been way further on. We kind of hit Christmas, and then a few different things happened, and, you know... <laughs> little farmers. This was, we're all just farming. We're all doing the same game. My leg, you, you know what? Thank you, Just Bunny, for asking. My leg is brilliant. It's, it's It healed up. I mean, to be fair, after I finished my last course of antibiotics and the, um, is it the act who plays Mr. Z people? Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Um, did I tell you the story? No, did I tell you the story of when, I, when we met Caleb at um, Diddy Squat Farm? FS Landscaping. Hello. Um, and we were talking about our channels and whatever. And he said he recognised my voice. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. He said, yeah, it's really boring, and laughed out loud. And I just cracked up laughing. And it's, it, I think it's um, interesting 
that when I'm live streaming, whether it be a walk and talk, whether it be this, whether it be the man cave one I did the other day, once you start interacting with people that are on your channel, that follow your channel, how much more alive you become. Last couple of days I've been feeling a bit down. So the question Ross asked was, what's the percentage today? It was 80. 10% boost to 90 with Mr. Silly P streaming. Thank you very much. Um, Pete Harnsey. Hello, Pete. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. I've, the last couple of days, the thing everyone said about COVID doing the rounds again, I wasn't feeling at all well. And I was setting all the, old, the old stream, da stream deck up and my OBS and to, to get ready to stream. And I spent a lot of time watching people's YouTube videos and how to set the stream deck. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm just skimming the surface at the moment of things we can do. Um, Trucker John, did I sort the stream deck out? I absolutely did. Um, if you weren't here at the start, we've got a load of cool stuff. I always sound like a school teacher, Joe. Thank you, Joe. That that was what I. That's what I did. Um, I I loved it. Teaching was just amazing. I just loved teaching. Um, and as you can tell, and as you've always told when I do my videos, I love chatting. So, you know. <laughs> Brad P, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, so Stream Deck is up and running. For those people that are just joining me, just joining us, we can go from uh, single cam to the side. And the reason I put the camera there, that was asked as well. If I do that and open the map up, it doesn't cover up the map. And if I open up the help menu at the top, it doesn't cover up the help menu. My G port was up there. So it doesn't cover up the um, the information panel there. But we've also got, if anyone donates, um, whether it be a super chat or just a donation or whatever it might might be, hit that like button. You can get a thumbs up from Mr. Silly P. Stream Deck is all working. Uh, we can get a cheer. I didn't turn those up. They were a lot louder when I did the testing of those. Um, we've got a pointing. Mr. Silly P needs you. We've got that. Uh, we've got Farm Dog approved. So if he comes in and he's barking, or something is just farm dog approved, would I call myself an influencer? I don't know. It's one of those phrases, isn't it? Um, what else have I got? I've got my G portal, got the full screen, so if you want me full glory, there we are. <laughs> oh dear. FS Landscaping's working on a new map. Let's go back to, back to small. Um, I've got my standby screen if anything goes wrong. If anything goes horribly wrong, but I can go back to that, that's cool. Um, so yeah, we, they, they all seems to be working. Anyway. Yeah, influencer, I don't know, it's um Battle Axe influencer. I know. <laughs> that's supposed to be a throwing axe. Would you would you throw that? Don't oh Johnny, you're gonna get one of those. I'm pointing at you, Johnny. And you know why. Stop it, bright no, this is that stops now. It stops now. I need a, I need one I need a button for that. <laughs> artisanal or artisanal, depends how you say it. <laughs> that word does me head in. It's handmade. Brilliant. Handcrafted, whatever, that's fine. It's like No, it's artisan. If it's artisan, then we can charge ten times as much for it. Oh, give me a break. Anyway, you're getting me ranting now as well. Stop it. Stop it, all of you. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, um, FS22 is supposed to be free on PlayStation Plus this month. And we're into October. It's October the 2nd. It's not showing. But anyway, I, that's what I need. I need a, a pop-up that says no artisan. Not artisan, handmade or something like that. <laughs> that's what we need. Right, this is going to fill up the harvest. I, I started going up and down, didn't I? And realised I was in the wrong place. Anyway, you're all sidetracking me. I've got so much to do. Bring on Mr. Antipants. No. No. <laughs> PS Plus is Tuesday. Right, okay. Maybe it might be on Game Pass forever. It depends if you've got Game Pass or not. Um, but the fact that if you've got PS Plus... Um, you'll get it for free and that's you know I, I said that when i did the video um and i got comments about well that's fine if you've got ps plus and if you haven't got ps plus or you stop paying. well yeah of course it, it, it's free with ps plus um 
Colby Gazza, thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the court, court farms. I'm not wearing my ranty pants today. I'm too happy. Yeah, anyway, so back to the question. Dust bunny, yes, my leg is fine. I got sidetracked again. Um, after I finished my last lot of antibiotics, it took about, I don't know, what, four weeks? Three, four weeks? Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie gets a cheer and a thumbs up. Thank you, Ronnie. Very kind of you. First super sticker from Ronnie Capel. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, it took about four weeks for all the swelling to go down, the redness to go, the infection to completely go, and touch wood on my desk, on my head, on my head, son. Um, it's uh, it's all good. It's, it, my, my leg is fine. So thank you, Dust Bunny. Uh, influencer, do I consider myself an influencer? Uh... It depends. I always think when people use the phrase influencer, it's used in a negative way that when people are referring to YouTubers doing bad things, um, when YouTubers have done something awful that's made people do something horrible, um, then they've influenced them in some way to do it. Do we inspire people to do things? I'd like to think so. Do we show people how to do things? Do we share information do i would like to think so um do we hog information and hoard it i w i hope not i you know so influence is one of those words you I mean yes technically if you've influenced someone to do anything whether it be to go out and buy the game whether it be to go and buy a controller whether it's to buy a, a satec logitech heavy, uh, heavy equipment side panel whatever it might be then i guess yes you've influenced somebody but i prefer to say you know inspired maybe <laughs> competitive multiplayer between Dagoin and Miss CP I wouldn't I, I wouldn't do it I'm not ranting Dan so I'm trying to wrap up all those questions that were asked Goggle Pop hello my friend Goggle Pop's in the house um, there's some people I need to add on here as admins I, I, I thought I had them on as admins I know why they're not I know why they're not on here when my channel got hacked and I lost everything, didn't I? Yeah, we are farm sim nerds. I'm, I'm influencing people to nerd out. Nerd out on the farm sim, people. Anyway. <laughs> so what was it? What was I finish off, finish off with? Oh, the percentage. We'll get there. We'll get, I'll come back around to these. I, I will, I promise. We'll come back around. Um, Caleb and Mr. Pete. You know what, Niall? I wasn't going to say anything. I don't know if it's going to happen. It might happen. But when Caleb reached out to me, and this is, the, like I said, that's what blew my mind. He reached out to me and said, are you doing court farms? And I said, I wasn't intending to. And he said, well, if you do, I will watch it. And if I get any spare time, I'll come and join you on it. He said, I'll watch your channel, I'll give you advice, you can work for me. That was kind of how the conversation went. So the conversation about when he's free, the problem is with anything we're doing multiplayer, if he's free when I'm not, or I'm free when he's not, because he's, he's a working farmer. Not only is he farming, he's doing his KCC, Caleb Cooper contracting, he's doing all the stuff for Clarkson's Farm, plus the filming, plus all the other things he has to do. So he's a busy man. Um... So you can't be everywhere. Now I've got to work out my route to get to this place because this is going to be a bit of a nightmare. I've just realised I've got so many jobs to do on here. I'm going to be streaming for hours. I'm, I'm not. There's no way I'm going to get it all done in a couple of hours. Whoa, whoa. Educator. Yeah. I hope so. I, I know, you know, it's it's one of those things that I have helped people over, there and I get messages all the time from people saying thank you for your help, your assistance, your guidance, your, you know, and it does give you that lovely, warm, fuzzy feeling that you've made a difference. It's like I said when I was teaching, if you can make a difference to one person in your day, then you've made a difference. There are plenty of people that go through life and they don't make a difference to anybody ever. And that's quite unfortunate, you know. Some people can be very negative, and they can make a difference, but in a bad way, you know. Um, so I think 
if I've helped anybody at any point, then that's fantastic. It, it, you know, it, it, so many people message and say, you know, the, the guy that was on earlier that said about his son having autism. I've had a few people, when I worked at the school, I worked with a few children with autism. And they were some of the funniest, loveliest people I ever worked with. Just incredibly, yeah, just amazing. And so many people message me and say, your voice it calms my son, it, it, it calms him at bedtime, we watch your videos. People will say all the time, I put on your videos to help me go to sleep. They're not inferring that I'm boring. Maybe they are inferring that I'm boring. Have I come the wrong way? Oh no, the track's around there. Um, anyway. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the distance does make it feel more real. It makes it feel a much, much bigger airport. Zeke and Streak from Toronto Airport. Are you working or are you travelling or... But the road's just there. Is there a, there's not a bridge, is there? We need to put a bridge in. Bridgerton. Because I'm just looking now thinking, we've got to go... Where are we? Where are we down there? We need to go... Yeah, we need a bridge there. We need to buy the land and put a bridge in. Uh, is there a quicker way? There's not, is there? And you know what? Drone. This is what I do off camera. Let's throw the drone up. No, that that is impassable until we get further along. I thought there might be a crossing point, but there's not. No. Jump in, leave a like. Celie G won't mind me saying this, but Celie G has dyslexia. And when she was at primary school, um, it was undiagnosed for a long time. I When I started working at the school, and I would, would do stuff with her at home, and I kind of got the feeling there was a problem, you know? And the school wouldn't pay to have her tested, and they said we could pay to have her tested. And when she went to secondary school, um, she went to a, f uh, a free school. All of my kids went to the school down the road, and she decided this new free school opened. While we're here, my bathing contract that I was doing, and the bailing contract is complete. These bales are all left over. This is the third bailing contract I've done, so I've already got a ton of bales up there. I did the field next door. When I left on the last episode, I did that one and this one. So these have got to go up and be dumped and I'll complete this contract. Anyway. Um, Travelling home. Connection to Ottawa. Safe. Happy flighting. Safe travels, my friend. Yeah, so anyway, she, she has dyslexia. And um, her English teacher at secondary school was phenomenal. Thank you, Pete. Pete. Let's zoom out so you get the full the full force of the Mr. Silly P thumbs up. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Pete. It's very kind of you. See? That's, that's streaming stuff. Oh, there's Farm Dog here. I heard his footsteps. Now he's gone again. He's gone again. So we should be able to cross just here and then we'll find our way. We'll get there. Just thinking this is a lot of uh, lot of driving. Let's get a bit closer to the action, I think. Whew. Um, yeah, it's, it's a weird one. Like I said, people will message me and, and, and they will say, you know, thank you for all you've done. And I, I'm never quite sure what to say. Um, have I allowed super chats? Oh. No, I thought I had. Oh. Oh, lummy. I don't know now. Um, 230 concurrent viewers, 197 likes. Uh, monetization. No. What have I done? Hmm. Done something wrong on my settings, haven't I? Oh, I don't know. I've done something wrong, haven't I? 
if I haven't um, enabled super chats. I thought I had. Apologies. I say apologies. I'm, I'm apologising. I'm apologising. You can't give me your money. <laughs> That's what I'm apologising for. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh. We're not talking about pay, Google, but we're not talking about you. You get paid in my appreciation. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that's annoying. Why has that not worked? So super stickers, but not super chats. I don't know why I've done that. And I, I don't know... So this is one of those things, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, I mean, to be fair, I've said before, I watch a lot of Jimmy Broadbent, and Jimmy Broadbent, Broadbent will always say when he's streaming, I'm a, I'm a professional streamer, and he does stuff, and he, yeah, and we all make mistakes, but, greetings from Finland, awesome, um, where am I going, I've missed my turning, I? oh no, next turning, we're alright, we're alright, elite farming, hello, um, yeah, the super chat. Like I say, someone who streams regularly, who does this and knows all the settings inside out while you're streaming, would probably know exactly where to go to set that on while they're while they're going. Oh, that seems to have gone a little bit stuttery. Is the stream going a bit stuttery? That seems to have gone a little bit, I don't know. Hope it's all right. Big Daddy, hello. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, man, what's going on? I shouldn't be doing that. Why has that sign started doing that? <laughs> Ah oh dear, yes, with consent. Is that gone? That's working again fine now. We're right again. That was weird. We're okay again. Yeah, don't know what happened there. I mean, sometimes it's YouTube's end. Sometimes it's not not me. Sometimes it's not my end. Uh. How did I get on with Zalonka at FarmCon? I didn't, at FarmCon we didn't get to uh, go on Zalonka. We had access to... Um, it was the... Um, why is my mind blanked? The one before it that came with the map. <laughs> what was it? Oh my days! Um... Oh, you know, the horse aggravation. That's it, Simon. Thank you. Yeah, we had access to the horse aggravation. Um, I think the guys that went to PAX um, in the US got some access to Zalonka. Um, I was asked that question earlier. What was not I? And I then got really, really sidetracked. Um, what are my thoughts on it? It's going to be brilliant. Loads of new stuff. Loads of new bits of equipment. Loads of new buildings. Loads of new processes. Um, new crop types what's not to like I'm sure some people will, will be angry but I think it would be absolutely fantastic um, I'll do what I always do save the game just in case measure twice, cut once uh, we'll go up and we'll check on here harvesting, garden centre unload here, if the money goes up I'm at the wrong sale point We'll see. I'm sure it'll be fine. Farm dog searching for new new treats. New treat mods. Yeah, probably. Well, money's not going up. That's good. How much have I delivered? Because I've got to go all the way back again. The way we just came. 51%. That all. No. Giddy up horsey. Uh, Farmer Beats asked, what did I used to teach? Well, I worked in a primary school. 
and um, the story I've told the story before haven't I but, but it's a bit long winded I started off as a teaching assistant um, the YouTube help page for super chats yeah but I don't know if I can I don't know if I can change it on the fly while I'm streaming that's my only so I've gone onto my stream page and I'm looking at all the settings you've got because YouTube are inserting ads which is a bit worrying um, expand menu webcam manage stream settings stream latency why is that okay stream health still same poor analytics viewers are going up as people are waking up yeah I don't know I can't I don't know like I say I, because I'm new to all this it's that thing of you know there's going to be a really really obvious setting um, that you'll click on channel level settings that's just live monetization settings for mid rolls and monetization. That's not on that. Like I say, so someone somewhere will know and it'll be obvious and I'll feel like a fool. I feel like a right Charlie. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, started off as a teaching assistant. What we would do? What we'll do? We'll drive back to the field. I'll take the bales, drop those off, we'll talk about those. That will it'll be something a little bit different to just doing this harvest. Might do a bit of mowing. So most of that, I mean, I, I should really complete a job. I should complete at least one job, shouldn't I? 6.30am in the Midwest of America. Yeah, so I thought if I started streaming lunchtime, and went through to, I don't know, maybe 2 in the afternoon or something, then I would catch people kind of getting up in the morning, people in the UK that were on their lunch and that kind of stuff. So, Krashak, good afternoon. Kirk, hello. From Australia. Nice. Try it after. Yeah, what I'll do. Like I said, this is the first stream of hopefully many. You know, and, and what I'm more pleased with is that the stream is working, the sound is working, you can hear me, you can see the screen, my stream deck is all working, all the things that I needed ticked. The super chat thing, I've had a couple of people donate, I've had a couple of super stickers, and I've had a couple of donations, which is fantastic. And those people have got their cheer, they've got the thumbs up, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, the super chat. Well, I can I can look at the settings for that afterwards. So I'll probably speak to Mr. Dyke JD, and um, I was hoping he would pop in the chat because sometimes when he sees me streaming, he jumps on. Oh no! So I mean, those are the bits I normally hide. I've missed my turning. No, no one saw that. That's that's what this is for. Anyway, <laughs> like, a, like a crash counter, but not. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, no, you you never saw nothing, right? Nothing happened. Because um, I'm looking at the chat, I'm not watching where I'm driving. I have gone so far out of my way. Altoona Gaming. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Drink driving again? No, it's too early. Way too early. The sun isn't anywhere near the yard arm, whatever that means. No, this is no entry, exit. No bueno. There are... <gasps> oh, it's a Ford. I was like, no, I'm dropping off the end of the world. There is a route through, but I think it means going through that yard that needs to be opened up. Thank you, Pete. I'm enjoying the fact that works. Cool. Thank you, Pete. Uh, what was that? Uh, are you a collector of all kinds of products? When you say products, what are you referring to? Um, Tall Paul made it to the stream. Boom. 
So glad to have you. Hello from my Ohio. Nice. Never too early to have a drink. I mean, I, oof, I don't know. <laughs> Probably is. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I can get through. I've got, yeah, I've gone completely the wrong way. That's very kind of you to say. Okay, Sene. Catching a live stream. Oh, it's like I say, I'm going to be streaming more often. This is the first of hopefully many. Now, can I get through those signs? Or are they solid? Because I know I probably shouldn't. And if the signs are solid, I would slowly... You know what? I should be able to go around it, shouldn't I? Through the hedge a little bit, maybe? I shouldn't be going through here, I know. Oh, the collectibles, you mean? on the? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, no, I can't get... Oh, what have I done? No. <laughs> I can't, I'm not going to buy this to click. I've gone the, completely the wrong way. Corbin, hope the stream is going well. Well? Well? <laughs> it was going all right until just then. Now I've got a reverse with one of these trailers. <sighs> the bits that I normally edit out. Because they always go horribly wrong. Yeah. Curse you, Oxygen David. And your clutter. Oh. You know what? Is this what I mean? Look! 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 I did that. It looked like I knew what I was doing. Slam that like button, ladies and gentlemen. As Miss... Uh, Miss... As Silly G used to say. Smash that like button, my dudes. Now oh, turn the tractor and use the front hitch. That's for... Uh, that's for novice... Fuck... <laughs> I'm a professional. No, I'm not. Not even slightly. Not even slightly. Hello, Pilchard. Theo Lego Madman. Nice. Yes, I am a little bit of Lego Madman myself. You may have noticed on some of my streams before. I know, Joe. They're going to call the cops. <laughs> so, let's swap job for a minute. Let's sort this out, and I can complete on this contract. Will Silly EG ever return to YouTube? I honestly really hoped she would. I, I really did. Um, I can... Oh, I don't know. I would love to say yes, but... In all honesty, I don't know. I just need to go out to the main road to follow it around, and then go back up to the farm. We've got a lot of bales up there. Um, I, I would like to. Thank you, Tall Paul. Thank you very much. Driver 53, hello my friend, how are you? Hope you're well. Look at me, doing streaming stuff, Driver 53. <laughs> doing complicated youtuber things. I mean, pfft, who would have thunk it? Who would have believed such a thing was possible from an old man? Old man and technology. Now, someone said about it's never too early to drink. Um, I have got up there. A 40 year old bottle of tawny port I'm not going to drink that I have got my coffee I've got my grenade mug but um, I should really be probably now's, now's a good time actually plug the merch ladies and gentlemen don't forget Miss Silly P merch don't forget to pick up your Mr Silly P merch see full YouTuber mode streaming plugging merch G portal top corner if you're looking for an affordable multiplayer server provider, have a tea with me, Miss Silly P. But then my, my coffee's actually in that. Because it's bigger. But anyway. <laughs> um, Driver 53. Like I said, I, I need to go through and work out because I've got... Hang on. Hang on. My throat's going dry. That's better. Um... Yeah, when my channel got hijacked and they shut down everything, I lost everything, and I had to reset everything. Um, when I came back on, it was one of those things of resetting everything. And I went through and did some settings, but not all of them. And I should have done. And there were more people I needed to add on to that, and I didn't. 
and again should have done so there are people that need to be added on as moderators and I uh, hope they will do now as far as silly G goes I don't know um, she went through that phase of being a little bit too grown up for it bunny rabbit is a bit too grown up um, she started at university have I told her this conversation have I had this conversation she started uni in London and she hated it she absolutely hated uni I'm going to go into first person here she hated it at uni didn't like it at all and I never forced her to go it wasn't one of those it wasn't it wasn't you know I wasn't one of those parents it was my dream that my child went to university it was hers she wanted to go she went she didn't like it fine that's on her um, I did say to her she'd have to pay housekeeping and you know she'd have to get a job she couldn't just lounge around she spent a while trying to find a job and I kept telling her do YouTube <laughs> No, she didn't do it. So anyway, I don't know. Um, the mugs. There's a. I've got a whole load of stuff on on the merch store. There are mugs. I've got a pint glass. I haven't got my pint glass out here. If I was streaming in the evening, I might have a cheeky adult juice. Um, so maybe if I start doing some streams in the evenings, that door pillar's right in the way. Thank you somewhat. You get a cheer. You get a Miss Silly P thumbs up. Thank you very much, my friend. Um, yeah, so in the evening, so there's pint glasses, I've got coffee mugs, there's a there's a, like a metallic wine glass. Yeah, unfortunately, she she didn't like it at all. She had, she didn't really make any friends. There weren't a lot of people on the course she was doing, and um, I don't know. She just she just didn't like it. Commuting in and out of London every day. I don't know. Then there was all the Lego store debacle and they closed the store in Watford and she transferred to Leicester Square which was travelling out of London which she hated um, so then she got a job working at the local uh, pub where my son and my one of my daughters worked my daughter then went to work for head office for that company I don't know if I can promote the company if I can plug them or not um, went to work for their head office so my son still works there my son is a shift manager pub manager something like that anyway so she silly g started working there as just an interim until she found what she was going to do she's just been promoted and the problem is like i said before when you get a job where you start earning money to then say do i stop doing that it's, it's a risk in it anyway so Yeah, I don't know. She was always very nervous about doing it, but she was always very natural at it. And that's what surprised me. She was brilliant at it. Right, so you saw me do the bales when I did the first contract. The first contract field I did was there. And I had these bales left over. Then I did the field next to the one I was just doing, and I had all of these. Now, the baler I was given only did small bales. So these ones are um, 3,500s, these ones are 5,500s. I had something like 32 bales left over from that contract, which I, I could not get my head around. Um, the tract I was in has got a nice interior, it's a, it's a fent. Sun's coming up, we're getting a bit brighter. It's just lovely being on this farm. Um, anyway, yeah, the whole thing about, you know, she felt she was too grown up. I know we're all adults. Most of us are adults playing the game. Most of us, are, most of us are elderly. <laughs> anyway, um, I just saw that goggle pop actually. Yeah, time fifty three. It takes a special type of person to do YouTube. Hope she finds something she truly enjoys. We are all very special. <laughs> Take that however you want. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so I was I was trying to get her to do stuff and uh, you know what it's like trying to get teenagers to do anything Then she turned 20 and stopped being a, U uh, a YouTuber, stopped being a teenager anymore I don't know I know I'm not elderly. Well, I say I'm not elderly. I'm only 50. I feel elderly a lot of the time But doing this anyway, oh yeah <laughs> You're going to despise of me, honestly. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get more and more. Um, the more streams I do, I'm going to get more and more people getting more and more annoyed with me, <laughs> because 
the percentage i didn't do my percentage did i you have to be a kid at heart you do and that's something i keep trying to tell all my kids i know it's difficult i know when you go through that period of your life where everything's mega serious and you want to be a grown-up and and i've always said on my my streams and my videos and my chats there's something very cool about just being a big kid as you can tell by all my stuff you know all the tours i've done all the things i collect all the it's all just being a big kid it's just you know i don't know it is what it is anyway so those are all spare as well so that contract is complete which means i've got to do a bit of hoofing it's a bit of hoofing it on foot now because what i'm going to do is complete on that contract because that one that bailing contract is done for kcc so that's the third bailing contract that harvesting one i've got to finish anyway 66 and enjoying your second childhood what absolutely and that's the thing bryce you're absolutely right body of 48 mind 12 body 50 i feel like i'm 15 all the time until you try and go and do things like a 15 year old and your body goes what are you doing and then your mind goes oh yeah hmm okay i'm not that young anymore anyway yeah, ne you never grow up. It's difficult, like I say, it's difficult telling youngsters never grow up because, you know. The difference between men and boys is the price of their toys. I love that, Hank. I absolutely, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. When you're a kid, you have a list of toys you want and things you can't afford and things you have to wait for Christmas and birthdays and stuff to get. And you don't always get everything you want. And I know when I first started YouTubing and decided that I'm, you know, that I can do this as a job and, you know, there was a few things like a couple of months christmas you know normally ad revenue is pretty good and money's pretty good last year's wasn't as good but anyway and i think you know what, i'm gonna treat myself thank you driver 53 thank you very much my friend um i'm gonna treat myself and i've said that before that on my list i wanted um, um an aliens um pulse rifle i wanted a stormtrooper helmet from the original designs um, I wanted a Stormtrooper blaster, replica blaster, um, and um, I wanted a lightsaber. And those that was kind of my list of things that I wanted. And then, you know, it just goes from there, really. Um, <laughs> anyway, what am I doing? Yeah, let's carry on with this. Right, I need to get a tractor and a mower, because I've got mowing to do, because... I I need to get on to getting the whole point of doing this in this episode was i need to get some grass into this silage clamp i need to feed these um these rabbits i think we're going to i bought these in these came in here so they're all in that's good but we're going to use one of are we going to use theirs yeah let's use theirs gonna mow their field uh we're going to get a wind rower we're going to lease a wind rower for kcc and we're also going to um Mind the chickens. <gasps> oh, that was close. And then we're going to pick it up and we're going to put it into the clamp, which is what Caleb said he wanted us to do. We were going to forage box it. So that's what we're going to do. We've only got a rear mower. I was watching Tom Pemberton the other day doing his in really thick, wet grass, and their mower was it was bogging down. It really. I mean, that's a that's a fair sized mower actually for this size tractor can i swing around there and get out if i go straight now yep we're good i think i'm gonna need a front weight i think i'm gonna need front weight theo lego madman thank you for your service so i've got to work out now avoiding chickens is it a bunker site? I don't know if it is, you know. Where the, where the, um, if I, well, mine fertilizer pallets. Yep, we're having chicken pies for dinner. If I go over to here and open up uh, that, compacting and chaff. Oh, maybe it is. Will you look at that? Will you look at that? There you go. <laughs> Let's close that off. Um, how long did it take me to build the man cave? Well, the man cave was built 
Um, oh, I said that, didn't I? I was going to... What I'll have to do next time I stream is I'll try and get up... Um, I'll have to switch at some point to my PC screen and I'll get some pictures up. Because I'm sure I've still got the pictures somewhere of the man cave build. Um, it took a few months. Um, it was all built out of pallets. Like I said, all the main structure was built out of pallets. I bought a few bits of timber here and there and the roof... The um, roof beam supports and the door frame and the window, it was all recycled. The guy down the road, um, Andre, who's a builder, was gutting and renovating the house he was going to move into. And um, he had he was chucking out so much stuff. So I took everything I'd get my hands on. Um, the roof joists up on the top, they're all um, they're thin boards that I joined together. Um, to make the roof joists, I mean, all of the pallet wood, sort of the wains, wains coating, if you call it that, was all pallet wood. I was pulling pallets apart for ages, and it, I had to think 30 something pallets originally. Um, and it was only once I finished doing it that I found online this this mechanical <laughs> this mechanical piece of equipment for taking pallets apart. <laughs> That would have made my life so much easier but yeah it took a few months because i was doing my videos i'd do a video in the morning go out work on the man cave until mods dropped then i would do my mod review and if it was still daylight come out and do some more and th that cycle repeated and repeated and repeated when the weather was okay and i could do it um it, it worked out a lot better once i got the roof on because i could work on the inside if the weather was was um was bad but so i need to get to Field down here. Like, I know I'm bouncing between jobs here. I wanted to get that bailing one sorted. I want to start on this mowing. That harvest job needs to be completed, the harvest contract. But I want to get this mode. I want to get wind road. I want to go straight on here, didn't I? Hello, John. I'm doing fine, thank you. How long have I been doing full time YouTubing for? Uh, that would be five years? Five. I'm sure it was 2018. That I quit my job at the school. Pretty sure it was. Have I missed? No, oh, it is this field, isn't it? Let's check on the map. Yep. It's this field here. We should be able to get into it here. Man cave tour video. I've done. I've done man cave tour videos. If you look in my, either my live streams or my blog videos, I've done man cave tours. Now I know. I say I know. Usually, when I watch Tom Pemberton do it, he'll drive the tractor along and do the along like this first, and then he'll come round and do the other way. So I'll do that. Anyway, so yeah, we need to mow this. This is going to take a while. He goes around the outside first a few times. Hey, you're not late. I'm, str I'm going to be streaming for a while. I don't know. I'm, if they drop mods, they drop mods. It's what, you know. Walks and talks. I've been going out and doing a few walks, but I haven't taken the camera every time. A few times I've gone out with the intention of walks and talks, and the weather's been awful. I've gone out and it's poured with rain, or, you know, sometimes I've come back early because the weather hasn't been great. I've got some ideas of some places that I want to do walk and talks because the area is, is a place... I, I kind of want to show the other thing I was going to ask as well with the walk and talks is is just me walking and just chatting okay you know because I, I always felt that I should be um, I should be talking about something in particular but like all the ones I've done have been about a particular place or I've done a bit of research and sometimes I've had no notes if you know but it's about places that, that are important to me important to my life and things I've wanted to show people is it okay just to be out walking and talking just about anything? I guess probably. Thanks, Dan. It's very kind of you to say. So, while we're doing this, um, is, let me just have another double check on here. What are we up to? Concurrent viewers, 243. Likes, 269. Keep them coming, people. Hmm. Yeah, channel level setting just keeps sending me back to that. That's frustrating. 
never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah, I'm just I thought sort of him. Thank you very much, Welsh Sniper. That's very kind of you to say. I I try to be just me. Oh blimey. Did I find the collectibles on Frontier? The collectibles are the barrels. I have I I was gonna do an episode where I was gonna just go searching for barrels. Um the beard has been growing for a very long time now. And when I got back from FarmCon, I don't know if you remember, I did a couple of videos. Um, I um, I shaved it all right back to, to tidy it all up. It's gone a little bit wayward again. Um, because when I was at FarmCon with the likes of DJ and Farmer Cop and Argsy and Farm Sim Guy and Kermit and all these younger guys... And they're all very um, smart and neat and fit and tidy and <laughs> and I felt like a tramp. I just felt like a, such a mess. <laughs> Thank you, John. I could do the history of paint <laughs> and paint drying if you want me to. <laughs> Not sure how well it would go down. The other thing I've been thinking about as well is is if I do start to stream more, and there will be more streaming of farm sim content, obviously. Because, like I said, all the stuff I do off camera, and people have often said, well, if you're doing it off camera, why don't you just stream it? And up until now, because I couldn't, because I was indoors and it was noisy, and like I said, in the evenings, my kids are coming in, they're doing dinner, you know, there's pots and pans clanking, postman knocking at the door, you know, there was just never enough quiet. But I can now. But also, it means... Um, it also means I can... Um, I can stream other games as well. If I decided one evening, if we're doing a bit of farming and, and people wanted me to be doing a bit of snow runner or some, I don't know, some Gran Turismo or stuff, I can, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Luke. Um, oh, is it a bank holiday in Germany? Oh, so there might not be any more to do tomorrow. Probably a good job I'm streaming them. Keep hitting that like button, people. We need it to do well. <laughs> keep buying that merch. Got to keep the lights on. <laughs> We're going right. How's Starfield going? Oh, don't. Hello from Norway, Pete. How are you? Um... Starfield is brilliant. As Giants is based out of Erlangen. That was where the company... Well, it started in Switzerland, in all honesty. Um, but they've got an office in Erlangen. They've got one in... Oh, what's it called? It's in Czech Republic. Brun? No. Bruno? Bruno? Yeah, um, good afternoon from Hemel Hempstead. You're just up the road. Just up the road from me. Um, anyway. What's it say about? Giants, yes. Uh, they've got offices in Switzerland, Germany. Obviously America now as well in the US with Kermit and Nicholas. But um, Starfield, yeah, it's. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant. And that's another one of those ones where... Uh, I mean... It's one of those games you could play for years, and I'm, I don't, I'm not even exaggerating on that. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours, days and days and days, you will lose. Um, because aside from all the main game stuff, there's all the exploration, there's all the stuff you can collect, crafting of objects, building of various different planetary buildings. Um, there's so much you can do on it. And and I... Yeah, I mean, I, it's one of those ones I don't know. You'll never get to the end of it. I, I can't imagine... I'm sure there'll be people that will say, Oh, I've completed it. I, I can't see how. I really honestly can't. Um, but yeah, you, you can lose a lot of time on it. I have lost a lot of time on it. I should have gone the other way because I'm driving over the grass. Yeah, Farming Simulator is the other... You know, it's another one where you get people say, oh, I've completed Farming Simulator. And you can't complete Farming Simulator. There's no such thing. Um, let's raise that up. I'll go around the other way. I should be driving over this. You can't complete it. I'm going the other way. I am. All right. 
you might be watching me. Look. Oi, I'm watching you, son. <laughs> I can see what you're doing. You're making absolute hush of it, son. Anyway, yeah. Um, I honestly can't. I don't honestly... Starfield is crazy. It's brilliant and crazy and awesome and, you know... I mentioned before when I because I watched um, Adam Savage tested, and they did a whole load of videos on Starfield, and they made um, a filming model of uh, the Frontier, the ship, and um, before the game had even released, and I was absolutely hooked. And like I say, I'm a console gamer, you know, and generally speaking, stuff will come out on PC, and people say, "Oh, it's not coming to PlayStation." I'll be like, "Okay, well, it's not coming to PlayStation. It's not coming to PlayStation." It's one of those things. But I was so hooked just watching their videos on it. I just wanted to play it. Hello, Jim. 7,000 hours. I mean, it depends. If you go through all the farm sims from FS15 to now, oh man, I can't imagine <laughs> how many thousands of hours. Oh. Yeah, that is the only problem. There are um, spacesuits on, on Starfield that you can have that um, give you like an exoskeleton sort of built in, which allows you to carry more cargo, but even then I still overfill everything. I've got stuff stored on the ship. I've got stuff stored... Um, oh, what's the place called? Oh, anyway, yeah, in lockers and all over the place. Um, Call of Duty is one of those games that before I ever started YouTubing, I played Call of Duty and which one was it? Modern Warfare? Which one was it? I went Prestige, I don't know, 11 times. It was one of those ones I just played over and I just played constantly. Loved it. I've played all the versions of it. I generally play through the campaigns. I don't play online anymore. It got to a point where I know there's always that camper versus runner debate on Call of Duty. And it was always, it was always sold as. Um, Hello, Ron. How are you? It was always sold as a as a tactical shooter. You know, that you could play with your friends and you could play well as a team. You know, and it got to a point with people with runners, your runners and your quick scopers it lost all that tactical element and then you'd have that originally the game would be you know you people would spawn one side of the map on the other and, and you'd have that kind of uh, that concept of almost a no man's land between then it was that thing where the spawn points could be anywhere so people would spawn all around you all the time and it just becomes a slaughter at that point it just becomes who's got the best eyesight and who's got the who can move the quickest it, that's not a tactical shooter at that point it gets a little bit I always loved sniping, I loved the ghillie suits, I loved long distance stuff and people would be, oh you're such a camper and they'd get so annoyed and you'd have these duels with people across a map and it was always fire and move, fire and move. So you'd fire and you'd move to a new location. They'd come back to where you were, assuming that's where you would be and you'd take them out again and they would get so angry and people, would, the language would be appalling and you kind of get to a point you think, it's just, it got very negative for me. <laughs> And as you get older, you lose the pace, you know, you lose the step. You don't, you're not as quick as you were, your eyesight's not as good as it was, you know. I always remember going from the TV I used to play on to when HD TVs became a thing. You know, before we went to OLEDs and all this, you know, fancy 4K and all that kind of stuff. And I went from a standard TV to a HD TV. And I honestly couldn't believe the difference. It was almost like I could see. It was like someone had given me glasses that I'd been blind and I could see. Playing the game was a whole new experience. Adrian Binstead's in the house. Hey, Adrian, how are you, mate? See, I've played, I've played all sorts. Hello from Berkhamsted, Jordan, just up the road. I do like Berkhamsted. Giggling squid up there, very nice. Been there a few times with my kids. <laughs> nice few pubs along the canal. It's a lovely place. I like it. Um, hell let loose. I haven't, no. Like I say, I, I don't know. There's loads of games I've played over the years. There's loads of games I want to play. There's not enough hours in the day. Um, Viking, uh, Valhalla, I, I love that game. I thought it was fantastic. And then I'll get, you know, something will come out on Farming Simulator and then you'll be, I'm, I'm sucked back into 
videos and long gameplay and doing stuff on here. And my, my problem with it is, if, if ever, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2, I loved that game. That game was so good. Playing that live with people, multi that was insane again. People just hunting in packs and you couldn't last five minutes. It was crazy. But that was an amazing game. But the whole time I'm playing games like that, like if I finish, if I do my map, if I do a video, if I do a let's play, if I then do, um, let's say I do a, a mod review or a map tour, and then think, you know what, this evening I'm going to watch a bit of telly. I'm going to spend a bit of time with Mr. CDP. We we'll watch a bit, of, you know, watch a bit of telly together, or we'll have dinner together, or do whatever. And then I think well, I'll, I'll come back out and I'll, I'll play a bit of Starfield. If I'm playing Starfield, my brain's thinking I should be making a farming simulator video for tomorrow morning. People like DJ, th that guy never stops. And, and, you know, he's had all the success he's had because he, he never stops. And it's terrifying watching those guys, Farmer Cop, all of them. They are consummate professionals. And you do have to get to a point where you say to yourself, I'm, I will burn out. You, you have to be careful that you don't burn out. Um, World of Warships, I played that for a bit. Thought it was brilliant. And the thing is, we're, we're in that realm now as well with, with um, VR. Some of the VR games now are so close to real, it's terrifying that there, there aren't enough hours in the day for all the cool stuff that's coming out you know it used to be you'd get there'd be the a game for a, a console halo was always the game for xbox so when halo came out it was the game you know and um i don't know it's just difficult it's, it's finding the time it's hours in the day it, i always feel guilty if i'm playing something else that i should be doing farming content but sometimes and you know i know i'm people will have heart failure when I say this sometimes you can you can be doing it and I love this like I'm doing now I'm this all this stuff I would have been doing off camera off camera um, with an audio book on but now I'm doing it and all you guys are here and you're joining in and you're chatting and it's lovely it's, it's fantastic it is the line we walk um, and burnout is a real thing and this is the thing my son always said YouTube's not a real job you know, it would make fun of me. It's not a real job, Dad. It's not a real job, Dad. And I, I kept saying to him, if I'm earning money doing it, it's a job. It's like anything. If you can earn a living doing it, it's a job. The world, the school I worked in, people don't view it as such. If you apply for anything and they have those drop-down boxes where it asks your, asks your occupation, there'll be occupations listed for absolutely everything but not content creator, not YouTuber, not because most industries do not view it as a real thing. And it is. Um, and when you say you can burn out, you can reach a point where, and also you can lose your enthusiasm, you can lose your mojo, you can lo lose your feel for it. And um, it's very hard when that goes trying to find that enthusiasm especially if you get ill when we went through the dreaded covids and all that um when you're not feeling well and you're feeling run down and everything you're doing is an absolute effort it's really difficult you know to, to get into that zone again not complaining just explaining it is it is the way it is it's no different now people say oh yeah but youtube you're just playing a game you might be but you're playing a game, you're editing. You, you know, when you're doing this, you're working You're working like a one-man... You're a one-man camera crew. Oh, farm dog's in the house. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. All right, you come on your own. You come on your own, buddy. Where's Mrs. Sinipi coming out? Oh, it's silly G. Are you going to come say hello? We're live streaming. I can put you on full cam, look. Come on, come in. Just poke your head around the door. I've just woken up, though. Doesn't matter. People want to see Silly G. Silly, there she is. There she is. Look, no, that way. Silly G. Right in the corner. There you are, look. Silly G. She's up. Farm dog and Silly G. Right, let's go back to uh, small camp. <laughs> She's gone again. She always comes down to the man cave to say good morning. I say good morning. What time is it? Five past one. She's saying five past. She, she's saying five past one. She's saying good morning now because she works at the pub. She works till the pub closes, and the and when the pub closes at one in the morning or half twelve, whatever time it is, and then they have to pack everything up. 
um, and clean everything down and get everything ready for the following day. So most nights she's not home till three o'clock in the morning, something like that. Um, if she does a close, what they call a close, uh, or she'll do a, a four finish, a five finish, six finish. My son prefers mornings. He does early shifts. That's just what he does. Darren Gurney, hello from Northern Ireland. It's not a job. Of course it's a job. It's a livelihood. It's a calling. It's a career. I don't know. The difference between a job and a vocation, a job and a career, that you know, a job is something you do to pay the bills. My brother always said, my dad used to live to work. My dad, everything about his job was everything to him. It was the most important thing in his world. And... Um, my brother's attitude when he started work because they both worked in the same industry um my brother works to live so he goes to work to earn his money to live his life to be able to go out and do things and go places and, and spend time with his family and, and that's that's the um yeah that's the thing isn't it do you live to work or work to live you know and it's difficult finding that balance it really is huckleberry taz robert parker Lawrence, hello. Power cuts are sorted. Haven't had another one. Whatever was causing the fluctuation, whatever was causing the RCD to trip out, hasn't done it since. So, uh, yeah. Alistair from Cabby's Truck, hello. <laughs> Silly G has stopped making videos, yeah, unfortunately. Um, Rob from Leicestershire, but currently in Scunthorpe, okay. <laughs> Scum thought. No, I'm sorry, I went, I'm not even going to try. Not even, well, I say not even going to try. I did try and failed. That deserves one of those. No, Mr. Silly P, I'm pointing at you. <laughs> Terrible. I was going to um, put on a sound effect for booing, but I, don't, I think booing's too negative. Shouldn't have that. The new stream deck is awesome. As you will see, if, uh, if anyone donates or uh, does a super sticker or anything like that, you'll get the thing will come up. Um, Scorpion Taz. Uh, hey, Miss CP, just woke up in Main Saw You Live. I agree with the burnout. Tried recording an episode three times and writer's block for months. It's <sighs> PS5 stall is awesome. Um, I've always found, I don't know, I've always been one of those people that's, that's had that ability to just talk. When I was teaching, standing up in front of a room full of people and talking has never bothered me. When I was an instructor with the Air Cadets, when I was a warrant officer with the Air Cadets, when I was doing drill instruction, when I was teaching drill, when I was teaching lectures and lessons, it's not something that's ever bothered me. So to do this, I suppose, becomes a natural extension of that. Like I said, lockdowns did a number on me. Lockdowns did a number on me with regard to interacting with people. And whereas I never was bothered about standing up in front of people, phone calls, phone conversations, um, I've never done a Zoom call, I've never done any of those sorts of things. The thought of doing those sorts of things fills me with huge dread and anxiety, um, which I never used to. So yeah, that kind of the whole lockdown thing was, was, was massive. I think with a lot of it, it's just, just do it. Just jump on, do it. I know DJ does scripts a lot for his stuff. It's not saying when I do my mod reviews, I've, I've never had a script, not once. When, when I'm working out the mods, when I'm setting all the mods up for review, I'll make some notes on the actual details, the slot counts, um, the megabyte download, the name of the mod and the name of the modder. Lawrence Anderson, you get a cheer. You get a thumbs up. The stream deck is working. Hello from Newcastle. Are you working at hospital or are you in hospital, David? I hope you're not in hospital. Farmer Giles from Manchester, hello. Where was that other person? Someone was, where was it from? Hello from Scotland. Frank McGowan, hello. A lot of UK people joining. Awesome. Great Yarmouth we got up there. Awesome. I have a face for radio. <laughs> I have a voice, but the fact, I don't know. I'm not as craggy as I think. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, we got that. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Oh, that's going. I was going to, I'm not going to hire a worker. Um, what I need to do is open up 
where was it under? If I move this over, open up my Stream Deck option, and what I should be able to do is go on to that and increase the volume up to about, let's go to about, and then you guys can tell me whether it's made a difference. And we'll go to the ticking, well that was up anyway. Unfortunately the nice undulations and the siren, let's bring that up a bit to that. So we'll do that all right, 60. The nice undulations is on maximum unfortunately. I haven't had a reason for the nice undulations yet, have I? Let's put it back over there. Um, jump back on SnowRunner, oh man. Friesland, where's Friesland? Friesland? Oh, apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Um, pumpkin picking for your birthday yesterday. That's cool. Uh, right, so let's try this again. This should be louder now. Is that better? And then... That sounds better. Is that louder? Take care, Driver53. Thanks, mate. <laughs> the day job, I know. Well, I don't know. This is my day job now, is it, I suppose. <laughs> I hope they worked better. Ah, oh, Northern Netherlands. Sounds a bit better. Brilliant stuff. I, I can turn those up. What I will do, I will re-record, because unfortunately when I do this one, it's too quiet. So when I record that, I need to record that louder, the nice undulations, and then, because I've got that set maximum at the moment on the stream deck, and that's too quiet. So I need to work on that one. Anyway. How are we doing? I've got to be careful, because I don't want to overextend and then everything drops off concurrent viewers 250 likes 309 come on keep those lights coming keep them coming ladies and gentlemen what did i say we need to have a, a when we got to a certain amount of likes i was supposed to do the hat thing wasn't i missy p 30 minutes drive from court farm are you ready how cool was that Me and Celie G on Sussex on FS19. Sussex Farms was a cool map. That was one of those maps that had a nice blend between um, functionality and picturesque. It, it was amazing. Okay, so Friesland is for the Netherlands, what Scotland is for the UK-ish. Okay, full of blue people. Cold blue people in kilts. <laughs> I'm joking, if anyone's got some, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What's happened to Alien Jim? I don't know. I haven't spoken to Alien Jim in a long time. We used to talk a fair bit way back in the day. Um, I honestly don't know. I did message him a while back and didn't get a reply. Um, I don't know, honestly. Um... It's one of those people I guess I should really reach out again and see if he's okay. This is taking way longer. And this is what I was saying about the other day. When people say about... Um, oh, I should have done what um, Tom Pemberton does. And he does a strip down the middle and then starts going from the inside out and stuff as well. Um, Mr. Silly P. Oh, that was a question I was going to answer, wasn't I? Yes, people asked about Miss Silly P as well. And I said she's the victim of her own success. We've come back around again. We've come back around. <laughs> Miss Silly P um, at work was doing her job and getting everything done and you know and she had a bit of spare time and a bit of free time and she'd come and jump on with me and you know brilliant it was all good um, but um, she kept asking her boss for more work and they said she, she's um, pitching for new business and doing various different things she does and she goes and does works away from home a little bit that's for another company they work on behalf of so she goes and does that every now and again she's pitching for new business and she's she's got some more work to do the problem is because she's got more work to do now she's a lot busier than she was before so finding the spare time that she had before is proving a lot harder which i'm absolutely gutted about because i was loving doing those episodes with miss silly p because we were just i mean i've said this so many times before so actually it's our wedding anniversary Friday no Saturday it's our wedding anniversary Saturday the 7th of October 
but Friday afternoon we might pop out, we might go somewhere, I don't know, we haven't really decided. 28 years this year, and Mrs. City P is my wife and my absolute best friend. We've always been friends, we've always been able to talk about anything and laugh about anything and just, I, I, I could count on the fingers of one hand the amount of proper arguments we've had in our entire marriage. Honestly, in, in 28 years, I, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's our anniversary on, on Saturday, the 7th. Um, and I can't believe it's been 28 years, that's crazy. <laughs> Hello from Oregon. Farming with Farmer Bear. Yeah, Jim's maps were, were brilliant. Washoe and Sussex Farms and, you know. I mean, we've had a couple. They did the um, rock crawling one as well, which was a really cool map. I mean, that was a very Marmite map. People seem to either love it or really hate it. I thought it was a good map. It was brilliant for testing. Draconia 66. That's the thing. If you marry your best friend... Happy wife, happy life. You're absolutely right. You know, it is that kind of people say, oh, it's, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sexist and blah, blah, blah. And why should the man be the person that dictates? And why should you have to keep your wife happy? She, I, and I absolutely agree. And we have a very equal relationship. And um, I've said this before. It's, um, you have a, a gardener and a rose. The relationships that don't always work are the ones where the gardener and the rose never swap. If the person's always the rose and needs tending by the gardener, that can often be quite needy, can be difficult. Um, and then when the person who is the gardener sometimes struggles and needs um, needs looking after themselves, the person that is the rose doesn't know how to because they're not a gardener. In a, in a, in a strong, healthy relationship, I guess I know this is very kind of this is a generic statement and this is not for everybody I'm not saying this is set in stone but that bounces who the gardener and who the rose is changes throughout your marriage throughout your relationship at different times you will struggle and you'll be the rose and the other person will be the gardener and they will they will step up and they will look out for you and look after you if you're both gardeners at the same time because you're not having problems everything's strong and healthy and rocking and rolling it's you know it's just the way, the way it is um, <laughs> you're absolutely right, Hydra. I wear the trousers in my relationship as long as it's okay with, with the missus. Um, yeah, you know. I don't know. It's just, it's just, yeah. The Munter 44. Wow, that's amazing. Fell out the first time they met and didn't speak for four years. But they've been together for 23 now. That's incredible. Anyway, yeah, so it's, it's, um, yeah, amazing. Very cool. When, when you, yeah. So anyway, yeah, so I missed, well, that all came off the 54 years. Multi Saddlers, congratulations. That's epic. I mean, I think 28 is nuts, but, you know. I don't, I don't get the last word. If you've watched any of those videos with me and Mrs. Eddie P, can you imagine getting the last word? Can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> oh dear. The desk has other other uses. Bad Adam. I'm what? Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not going to go down that route. Ah <laughs> oh dear. From Boston, USA. Steve's take. Hello, Steve. Hope you are well. I'm going to get the wind road, and we're going to get this wind road. What time is it now? Quarter, 20 past one. We've been going a while, haven't we? Um, and then I'm going to... Um, by the end of this episode, I'm going to get some grass off this field. I'm going to feed those rabbits, and I'm going to get some into the silage clamp. Now, that is what the thumbnail says. We are absolutely going to do that. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're cutting the grass. Then we need to go and get a wind rower, and we need to sort out the... Um, Forage Harvester. Ultra Gamer, first time talking. How am I? How's it going? It's going fantastically. There's a couple of little issues here and there, but I have to say, um, for my first time proper streaming, 
with my stream deck in the man cave with three screens it's going so much better than I I, I, I have been so anxious and I, I know I say and people go what are you talking about you know it's ridiculous Why, what have you got to be anxious about I have been so nervous about doing this about setting up and you know when I streamed directly from the PlayStation that time and the game crashed and crashed and crashed and it was a nightmare everything went wrong I had sound problems and all that kind of stuff so apart from a couple of little bits here and there this has gone really well again massive shout out to John the stream deck absolutely fantastic Gelderland in Holland the Netherlands Kaya Farm Girl welcome actually you know what you're, you're very right Bryce near area 51 um, now is probably a good time to save the game <laughs> it wouldn't hurt would it <laughs> Adrian 30 years from me and the missus it, it does it takes a lot of um, understanding and patience it, you know a lot of give and take you know if there's more give than take from either side it, it can be difficult paper farming the Netherlands is present <laughs> I'll say it again it was lovely meeting Faber Farming at FarmerCon it was brilliant let's play on Starfield I'm quite a way into it already and the problem is with anything the same as doing this farming I similar anything really you'll go on and there are people that have played longer are doing better do play it better have got better PCs mine my PC is well it was spec'd fairly highly when I got it and I've had it a few years now in all honesty it could probably do with a few upgrades here and there but um, it, it sometimes goes a little bit laggy here and there um, which can be really frustrating in some of the menus anyway so. um, anyway what was I going to say oh yeah back to that other question I nearly got there didn't I I nearly got there and got sidetracked again what percentage am I at today? <laughs> and I started to say, over the last few days, I haven't been feeling very well. And I started to wonder if I had the dreaded COVID. And I, I was feeling very worn out and tired. And I was trying to set everything up. And by the time I'd done all that, I was like, you know, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to set it up. I'm not going to stream now. I'm not going to go live. Because I just didn't feel I had the energy to make it work. You know? Um, but... I think when I started this morning, I was nervous. I would put myself at probably an 85, 90%. I was feeling upbeat. I was feeling positive. I was feeling good. Demon Lord, good day from Western Australia. Hello. And um, New York, 8 o'clock. Thank you very much. I've been streaming for a while, and I'm going to be streaming for a little bit longer, so hopefully I'm going to be catching people at all different times and different time zones. That was the plan, to stream for a while. I've lost count of how long we're going for, but it's all good. Um, like I said, I want to get that wind road. I want to get some picked up and some put into side camp. That was the whole point of what I was doing, was to do that. Now, what I could do, again, would be off-camera stuff. I could purchase the things I need to purchase, and then I could have it delivered. But I'm not going to do that. We're going to drive and collect. So we're going to get a wind rower. But I'm not sure if I've got one available. Let's drop that there. I'm trying to think what I've got available. Um, Brunson 1970-74 US Air Force. Ah, oh, okay. Or US Air Force Brat. Okay. Mum or Dad. Yeah, I mean, this is it. You, you, I, I don't think... I mean, you can, you can, you know, if you if you're feeling a hundred percent, yeah, things can still go wrong. All sorts of things go wrong. I've often said this: if if you're um, if you're having a great day and you're feeling great, I've, I've often said like just being polite to someone, opening, holding a door open for someone, saying good morning to someone. If you can put a smile on someone's face and make them smile, that has a kind of a pay it forward kind of effect, a knock on effect to that. That their attitude they cheer up a bit and then they will then their percentage bumps up a little bit and you know I don't know do I miss being underneath the stairs I said this to Mr. Silly P last night I, I don't miss it because I get to be able to do this 
I feel a lot more enclosed now. I feel the sound is better. I've got a bit more space to move around. I can do more out here and I can stream more. But what I do miss is being part of the household. I know it sounds bizarre and my commute to work is about a minute <laughs> from out the back door, out across the deck and into the man cave. But it feels like I'm coming out to my studio. It feels like I'm coming out to the studio cave, you know? Um, I know I still need to finish the, har the harvesting. I know, I <laughs> will we'll get there. <laughs> I, I know um, but it feels like I'm coming out to work I mean to, to work like I say it, it's a very you know take that phrase however you want to take it like being an influencer you know is it work is it not work you know but I feel like I'm, I'm coming out to work the, the only problem I found is in the evenings if I go in have dinner with Miss P and might watch a little bit of telly when I was under the stairs, it was very easy to just think, I'll just stick the PlayStation back on again. I'd whiz around back on the stairs, PlayStation on, stick a couple more hours in. When you're indoors and you're kind of settled, especially if the weather's a bit rubbish out, if it's a bit colder, to then say, I need to go back outside again now to put on everything, to maybe put the stove on to warm it up again in there, um, I guess I'm probably less likely to do that. I don't know but yeah I miss being part of the household my kids come and go now they'll, they'll go to work or they'll come in from work and they'll go out with their boyfriends and I don't see any of that so by the time I come in they've come and gone and I haven't oops I should have swung wide there I haven't really seen them so from that respect but I feel a little bit more disjointed but it's not necessarily a bad thing I suppose so let's drop that there over here there we go so we want a wind rower now i'm just trying to remember if we've got a front one installed we could use reverse driving is rev should be done sorry i'm looking at my, i'm looking at my screen here not at the chat um chris warrington from wisconsin Thank you, my friend. Very kind of you. Phoenix, Arizona. Snuck off in a corner at work to watch for a few minutes. Thank you, Mo Grant. <laughs> uh, Got to keep farm dog fed. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, there is. I think there is that plus to it. That being out here separates the two, I think. Now, I can't remember. Does that have the option to go to the centre? Or is it just left and right? Because what I was thinking was wind rowing and picking up at the same time. But I think that one's a 15 metre. That's a 14.7. It's a big difference in price there, isn't there? How much is that? Okay, that's fairly expensive. And then what we're going to do is come from there. We'll get this back from um, Court Farm. I'm going to lease that one, the Quantum. It's fairly cheap, 35,000 litres. It's not massive. I'm just thinking size-wise for the yard, maybe. I don't know. How much is that to lease? Yeah, we'll get that. Cool. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're finding it therapeutic. I didn't realise there was a back door out there. So I thought, where's my stuff? Went out the wrong door. Right. <laughs> Nova Scotia? Wow. Living in Wasau? Is that Wasau? Cool. Roger's in the house. How many female farmers are in the chat? Not many. Uh, Dust Bunny was in here earlier. Yeah, I'll wind row and then we'll collect. It's not going to take too long with this wind rower. I say I'm, I'm intending to be on here for a little bit longer. Probably to two, half past two maybe, I don't know. I've already done far longer than I intended doing anyway, but it's all good. So what I should really do is um, swap over onto Court Farms 
account because when I need to unload into the silage clamp I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that until I do but Cornwall Ontario um, yeah I, I apologize for not putting out um, on Facebook or anywhere um, Twitter normally I put live in five but when I was setting this up, it did catch me off guard. It went live from OBS. I thought I would set it live from OBS and then I had to set it live from YouTube. Um, it went live from OBS almost immediately, which I wasn't expecting. Um, would I ever do Gold Rush again? I'll be honest, Gold Rush I re reached a kind of peak with where I bought a lot of equipment. I know there's been, has there been any more updates? I'm trying to think. And... I got a bit bored with it. I'd, I'd spent a lot of time on it, and I'd kind of was it was excitement, excitement, excitement. And then I, once I started buying a lot more of the equipment, I, I did get a little bit bored. I know there were loads more places I could have unlocked and stuff, but I, I, yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Yeah, I, probably not on that one. Construction simulator I really enjoyed, and I would go back and play that again. Snow Runner, obviously. Um, Darlington, South Carolina. Have I ever thought about playing Ark Survival Evolved? I've never actually played any of those. Um, you had to go and start work. How boring. <laughs> take take care, Adrian. Thank you so much for being in the chat. I really appreciate it, my friend. My wife was just on, but she had to go to sleep. Hello and goodbye to Draconia 66s wife. <laughs> Um, Snow Runner, oh man, I said before I'm so far behind on that. Um, I don't know. I love it. It's a brilliant game, and the mods and stuff. And it's 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 another one where I can just suddenly hours have gone by, and I just love the mud plug. And I was asked the other day, do you think that mud characteristic will ever come to to farm sim? The fact that you can play Snow Runner on console tells me that it's doable. Is it doable in conjunction with all the other features on Farm Sim? I don't know. I think it would be one of those ones, if they did, it would only be PS5 and... Um, well, it would be the new gen consoles. I, I don't think... I don't think the old gen consoles could cope with anything like that. I don't know. You know. Court farms on PC. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a mud mod and stuff. On PC, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Hello, Danny from Virginia. Victor Cox, Mississippi. Thank you very much. Uh, let's start that up. Drop that down. Actually, I didn't switch over, did I? It still let me do this. That's all right. We'll carry on as we are. It shouldn't take me too long with this. I didn't go too far outside the field lines. But we'll get this picked up. We'll get it forage boxed. For a guy who loves survival, I don't do a lot of survival games. I, I, if, if I go out into the woods, out into the sticks, um, I love bivvying, I love wild camping, I love all that kind of stuff. When I when I did it, when I was at Cadets, when I was an instructor and we did... Um, on, sorry, I'm just concentrating on not hitting in trees and anything like that. Um, all the outdoor stuff we used to do, I used to love teaching it. I used to love, you know, fire starting and wood collecting and, you know, building bivvies and shelters and, and you know, all that kind of... I loved all of that. It's absolutely brilliant. I, am I as into it in games? Not as much. But am I considering doing more streams moving forward? I absolutely am. That was the whole point of moving out to the man cave. The studio out here will allow me to do this. And this was my inaugural studio. I did the stream on my phone the other day out here and that was to do the whole look i've moved out to the uh, to the studio out to the man cave we're out here it's working but that was all done off my phone um this is i'm actually streaming from playstation through my pc elgato i've got my stream deck um it's all working as it should be so yes the plan is i will be i will be streaming more I'm hoping I'll probably do some streams, maybe some evenings. I'm not going to have... I know people always ask me... Um, uh, 
Thanks, Lawrence. Take care, mate. Look after yourself. Uh, Rob. Me and the wife meet, met a classic car show at Donington Park Race Circuit. 1994. None of us actually planned to go there. We got married September 95. Wow. That's cool. Heavy Metal Gaming. Hello, mate. Will this be my stream time? No. Um, not necessarily. Like I said, I was just about to say... Um, a lot of people have asked me, am I going to be setting a stream schedule? No. Because my schedule is still all over the place. My, my daily routine, whilst I will sit and do videos, I will do Let's Plays, um, mods can drop at any time from, I mean, we've had them as early as 11 a.m. UK time. So any time from 11 a.m. through to, I mean, we've had some as late as half past five, six o'clock UK time. So when mods drop, I'll try and do mod reviews. If maps drop, I'll try and get the map tools done the following morning. Take care, Jason. Thank you for joining us. Um, so I won't have a stream schedule. Um, there won't be set days. There won't be set times. I'm hoping to do uh, some streams in the evenings. So in the evenings, I'll catch more of the US audience, hopefully in the evenings or in the afternoons when they're in from work and that kind of thing. A lot of the guys, my kind of peers, the guys that are, they will do their streams in the evenings. And when they're kind of available, not necessarily to watch, but just, you know, so... Yeah, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'm going to be doing more regardless, but it's just like I say, the when is a little bit more um, open to, yeah, it's going to be when I can, you know. Mixed in with all the other things I'm doing. So as far as videos go, making videos and um, what I'm up to on that particular day. You know, I thought I would um, go live today and go live till maybe two in the afternoon. Thank you, Joe. Joe gets her. Thank you, Joe. It's very kind of you. Um, heavy metal gaming? Uh, possibly. Yeah, we were talking about this earlier in the stream. I might stream other games as well. Um, so possibly in the evenings, like say today was because I, I thought I'll stream until you know maybe two half past two if they drop mods at three o'clock ish or something like that um, then I can always jump you know I can end the stream and I can go and get cracking on doing the mod review if I need to and then I was told that it's a bank holiday in Germany today and tomorrow so there might not be any mods that said that has happened before there's been bank holidays and we've had mods so I don't know if there's gonna be any mods or not um, so like on a normal day if I'm doing this if I'm making a video I was trying to work out whether or not the reason I streamed this today um, you prefer a morning stream okay fair enough um, was because I had all this stuff to do I had that harvest to finish the bales to deliver this grass to cut it needed to be windrowed it needed to be collected there was all these things that, that needed to be done and I thought well I could make a video a short one of me doing one of those jobs and then wait for mods to drop and then do the mod review and I thought well if I'm going to be doing all this stuff off camera anyway um, then okay well yeah I was told earlier in the chat that the bank holiday was staying tomorrow so I don't know um, so yeah whether in the whether they're in work or not I don't know we, we might get mods we might not um, the mods have been a bit sort of intermittent and a bit hit and miss we've had some days we've had one mod some we've had none and then some we've had a few so it just all depends really but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens like I say this is the first one this is um, I don't know the inaugural stream from the man studio the man studio oh studio cave the man studio what was that the man cave studio anyway i need to we haven't added we haven't had a check out in the uh in the real world for a little while what we're we looking at 250 concurrent viewers 363 likes we've been live for two hours and 15 minutes well that was longer than i was intending to go for but we'd end up going three i would imagine but so i need to get some of this into the clamp so um let's minimize that go back so i can see the chat I can't thank everyone enough. Everyone that's been in here, everyone that's been chatting, everyone that's joined in. It's been awesome. Like I say, just that interaction with people has been absolutely brilliant. 
I thought, I thought DJ streamed a lot. He, don't they farm sim show and that kind of stuff? Is that not live? Mutt Dog SD, first time since. I haven't done that many streams. I've done a few. So I'm glad you've caught the I suppose the walk and talks and stuff like that. Um, but this is the first computer gaming one rather than just on my phone. So that's cool. Crashak, thank you very much. You get. Thank you very much. It's very kind of you, very generous. Yeah, that that I was just thinking that heavy metal gaming is is you know when you're doing it the, the stream will go a lot longer because of that interaction because people are still on here they're still chatting you, you you're connecting with subscribers you're connecting with your audience it's that immediate call and response you know um off topic i've always wanted to visit the uk where would you go if you were me Pfft, blimey um it's one of those things that people I say the people that live in the UK it's a very general statement but people like to travel abroad a lot and people don't spend as much time traveling in their own country um, there are so many places in the UK that are beautiful and wonderful I would say hands down the Lake District if you're gonna come over for a few weeks at least spend a few days go to the Lake District you will not regret it but places like York and Liverpool and, and going across the border up into Scotland. Um, London, you know, if you don't mind crowds and, and big cities, London's a great place to visit. There's amazing stuff to go and see. Um, there are some phenomenal places. I mean, there's so much more. There are so many places across the UK, that, you know, that you could go to. The South Coast is beautiful. There's some really lovely places to go and visit. And... You know, we used to spend a lot of our holidays when we were kids and younger in Dorset. You know, Weymouth and Swanage. And, but I know there are tons down in um, Devon. I used to go down with my aunt, uh, aunt and uncle, my cousins lived down in Ilfracombe. You know, so we used to spend our every year, we'd go, our, my mum and dad, my dad's two week summer holiday, we'd go down to Ilfracombe. So Ilfracombe and Coombe Martin and, and, and uh, it's just all down there. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. It's a very difficult place. <laughs> Milton Keynes. <laughs> no, it wouldn't necessarily be. Yeah, Dorset, Cornwall, Somerset, Devon. They're just, yeah, some beautiful places. The Cotswolds, you know. I don't know. You could list them on and on and on and on. And where would you stop? Swindon, yep. Swindon, Slough. Slough's a lovely place this time of year. <laughs> that is a joke. Don't, don't. I'm not saying don't go to Slough if you live in. But, you know. It's not what I would call one of the most picturesque places on the planet. It's a place like anywhere else. East Anglia, farms and churches. Kent is a lovely part of the country. Margate and Ramsgate, you know. See, there's so many seaside places. You now, when you go down to Dorset, and you've got um, places like Beer Regis, and uh, I'm trying to think of the, the list of names of places. You know, out along to Durdle Door, and uh, they're just lovely. Your brother lives in the African. Okay, cool. Shetland, I mean, it. Yeah, Scotland, beautiful. So many places. My brother-in-law lives up outside of Aberdeen, and I, that was lovely going up there. I thought it was incredible. Gloucestershire, <laughs> yeah. I mean, the list goes on. Worcestershire. There are some, some beautiful, beautiful places. So I honestly couldn't specify one. I mean, if I was going to say one, Lake District, hands down, all day long. Uh, wouldn't it depend on you specifically? Yeah. What specifically you like to do? you know Wales is amazing some of the places you can hike and walk and visit we did Cader Idris and we were in, in Wales oh, that was incredible um, I don't know yeah my mind's churning now 
I've never been to Manchester. Been, I've been to Liverpool a couple of times with Miss Silly P. Would I try other simulators like boat fishing games? Um, I, I tried... Um, so my son's into trains, the train simulator games. Um, I couldn't get into them as much, the train simulator. I know it's bus simulator and a few people got to go at that. Um, um, have you an idea what's happened to Stocko Claws? I don't know who or what that is. Yeah. Stick to the path. Don't go on the moors. Thank you, Crashack. Take care. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, well, I think one of the times we went to Liverpool, and it just happened to be, it was Ladies' Day at Aintree. And um, once the racing finished at Aintree, Liverpool was descended upon. And we were just up there to, it was, we did sort of the Liverpool, the Beatles experience stuff and all that kind of thing. And in the evening, I've never seen a city like it. It was incredible. Flight simulator. Now, flight simulators are my jam because I was an air cadet. Um, there was Ace Combat, the early Ace Combat games, the new one, Ace Combat 7. I quite enjoy that. I do. I played a little bit of that off camera. I do like that. I haven't played Flight Simulator on the PC, um, but it does look amazing. But yeah, Flight Simulator, I do like that. Right. That's the wind rowing done. We are going to, before the end of this stream, get some of this collected. We are going to feed those rabbits and we're going to get some into the size clamp. I'm going to get it all done. Big fan, Mississippi, watching on YouTube channel. Ten years, thank you for any people who taught me farming sim at 22. That's what can't you say, Victor? Train sims and money sink. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. There seems to be a DLC for everything. Every railway line, every pack, every type of train. There's a lot. Um, This will go back. I was just going to say, I'll see you in a minute. Of course I won't. I'm streaming. <laughs> I've got to take this back, pick up the other one and bring it back. I could drop it off. Now, I could, I could have had it delivered. It's just dropped off here outside the farm. But we'll go back. We'll drop it off. We'll get the other one. Hello, Graham. Good afternoon. Let's hit the road. Boom. Back in the cab. Ooh, all over the place there and I will get the um, what was I going to say I will get that rest of that harvest done even if I do finish the stream and I do it off camera don't worry I know there's people stressing about that harvest I, I dropped off of it part way through I, I will get back to it I promise <laughs> European Truck Simulator yeah like I said earlier I haven't played that someone said they're on ETS2 um, and um, I've never played it Next spring I should visit the Netherlands for the flower. Yeah, I've, I've had invites all over the place. I'm supposed to be going next year. I mean, I don't know if we're going to do farm, um, farm con again. It all comes down to finances, as it always does. Timing and finances, flights and accommodation and that kind of stuff. Because, like I said, this year when we went to farm con, none of the YouTubers, giants didn't pay for any of us to go. They didn't pay any of us to be there. We all paid for our own tickets, our own accommodation. We all just wanted to be there. And it was amazing, you know, all our flights, connections, trains, the whole lot. Um, and the world being the way it is at the moment, things aren't as cheap as they were. We have been invited out to the US. We were we were supposed to be going out potentially, myself and Mr. P, to visit um, DJ and possibly Farmer Cop, maybe Kermit. But I'm not sure. Again, with that, again with finances, we looked into the price of flights and stuff, and it was not cheap. So I don't know. We'll, there's, there's a lot of things we want to do. Again, it comes down to finances, time, whether Mississippi P can get holiday, you know. Fire Medic 549, top of the morning from Iowa. Thank you very much. Stream Deck is working. So what we should do at this point is we will go back up. No, we want to go in there, go to there. The windrow needs to go back. Please tell me I didn't buy the mower. Hang on a minute. 
Oh, I've just realised what I've done. Did no one notice? <laughs> oh, dear. He's got Goggle Pop near DJ. Okay. Yeah, potentially. Hello, Malcolm from Inverness. Um, <laughs> the mower belongs to the to Court Farm. I bought it back here to drop it off like I'd leased it. That's Court Farm's mower. <sighs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm not the proud owner. It belongs to Court Farm. That's not mine. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'll have to take that back and put it into their barn. Whoops. <laughs> oh, did you point it out? Sorry. So if I'm watching the screen, sometimes I don't catch all the comments. Um. <laughs> I didn't steal it. It's going to go back. You, you, get, a, you get a pointy finger. You get a pointy finger, Dan. I'm watching you. <laughs> I didn't steal it. <laughs> that is the shenanigans I get to off camera. You're absolutely right. I'm nicking stuff. I'm always nicking stuff. I'm a little bit woo, a little bit way, a little bit, you know? bit nefarious <laughs> my chat goes too fast for me to catch yeah I'm, I'm just too popular that's what it is let's put that up so we're good to go I'm just too much of a nice guy have I been keeping up with the rugby oh man I haven't seen any of it I'm absolutely gutted Silly G and I used to watch it all and I, I haven't seen any not a single game. I'm gutted. And it's one of those things I should make time for it. But then it's that thing of I should make time for everything, you know? And then again, if I'm sitting there watching the rugby, I'm thinking, oh, I should really be outside. I should be making a video. I should be doing some prep work. I should be doing, you know... Oh, I don't know. I'm a little bit Dell boy. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Oh. Oh. Silly G, hang on. Full screen, Celie G. She's now she's showered and she's properly awake. <laughs> no, I'm actually looking she's ahead. properly awake and she's here. The chat has been asking. I wonder what they've been asking, Celie G. What do you think they might have been asking? <laughs> I think I might know. What might have they been asking? Do you think? About my channel. Yeah. Or you or yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a point actually. This month, from Tuesday. Free games in October, Farming Simulator 22. Oh, okay. So you can download it onto the PlayStation, so you won't have to pay for it. I'll have to do that then. Yes, yeah, so her face is here for public consumption. Look. Oh, is this the channel? When are you coming back to YouTube? Hello from Norway. Hi, YouTube. Get back to your channel, we love it. See? <laughs> it's a good way to earn money. You can earn way more doing this than your job you're doing at the moment, and you wouldn't have to work. I say you wouldn't have to work all the silly hours. You'd have to work some silly hours, but not all of them. You've proved that there are silly hours. There can be silly hours, it depends. There you go, look. It's all kicking off. <laughs> How have you been? Good. What time did you finish last night? Uh, one. Oh, wasn't bad. What time were you in then? Uh, we closed at half eleven on Sunday. Oh, God, oh, God it's Sunday, wasn't it? Oh, I've lost track uh, of days. Uh, Unloading done, back to listening only. Yes, your public has spoken. Lots of people are still sub to you. They, yeah. they, they didn't unsub. Not like when my channel got nicked and people just <laughs> just jumped off. One of the first videos they ever watched was the two of us playing Old Stream Farm. Oh, I man. Like what did we start off on? Was it 15? We started uh, off on... Westbridge Hills. Westbridge Hills, it was, wasn't that it? Was my favourite. That was when you were obsessed with the New Hollands and you used to charge around like a maniac. I still charge. I, I always charge around like a maniac on all of them, though. Heavy Metal Gaming didn't find us until after you'd already finished. Thank you, Graham. The Man Cave layout, or the Studio Cave, I think is what we're referring to it as now. Oh, we're full already. 35,000 litres. Ladies and gentlemen, this stream started how long ago? Nearly three hours ago? <laughs> and the thumbnail says... Um, I was I was going to talk about that, wasn't I? Um, because we're going to be um, 
clamping. And so with the clampets, who remembers the clampets? The Beverly Hillbillies. Anyone remember that? The clampets. Um, so I said, if I do nothing else before the end of this stream, I'm going to put some grass into that clamp. We may not get it filled. We may not get it compacted or covered, but we are going to put some stuff in that clamp. People still go back and watch your catalogue. Really? Would I create a lady cave for Silly G? No. Um, there's no room. There's, yeah. I, I have used our back garden. There's I'm I'm, farm dog I'm already it. in trouble for that. <laughs> yes, I know. You can never leave this house now. You have to stay here forever. Uh, we started Westbridge Hills together. Did we ever do Goldcrest together? That was FS17, wasn't it? Goldcrest. Uh, yeah, because you came onto my farm, didn't you? Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, it was um, Westbridge then, Hills. Goldcrest uh, Valley was FS17. Goldcrest Valley. And then we did a couple others at some point. You just noticed the streams in the man cave? Yeah. So I'm still on the. I, need, I should really go. Are you right? I need to go back to. Because no one's actually seen oh, what yes, I'm doing. Yes, sorry. Back oh, to small sorry. cam. There we go. Leave you to it. Okay. My dudes. Take it easy. Okay. She said, She said, smash that like button, my dudes, didn't you? I'm sure you said that. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, and subscribe if you don't already she said uh, yeah we're in the man cave we're, we're streaming from the man cave so she was she was brilliant honestly her she was like my Mississippi P. she's my youngest of five and we would just laugh and muck around and oh man I love it she was just brilliant and still is brilliant I mean I'm not saying she's not brilliant anymore she's absolutely fantastic and I get it life goes in different ways and different arcs and and I think a lot of it was when she was still at school and some of her friends had found her channel and they would make fun of her and she got a bit kind of embarrassed by it and again I understand that I get where that comes from and when she, I mean, she spent ages plucking up the courage to come and tell me that she probably wasn't going to do any for a while. She felt so bad about it, you know. And I appreciate that, I really do. She's a good kid. <laughs> All right, Bryce. Right, Bryce, you get, you get, you get a pointy finger, Bryce. You get a pointy finger. <laughs> the equipment was much better taken care of then. I agree. It was washed a lot more often. It was clean, it was tidy, it was put away. It wasn't stolen and left at the store. None, none of that happened. Kids can be very cruel. She hasn't been cruel at all. She's been lovely. We are very close. I, I mean, I'm close with all my kids. I've said this story so many times before. A guy I used to work with called Malcolm um, had a daughter. And this was before I was married, before I had kids. And um, I asked him what he was doing at the weekend. He said, I'm going shopping with my daughter. Well, I had a sister. I've got, I had a sister. I have a sister. Um, and um, she always went there with my mum, you know. So when he said, I'm going shopping with my daughter, I was like, oh, wow, OK. I, I, I'd never really experienced that relationship between a father and daughter. That, you know, you could get on all right, but not shopping and stuff like that, you know. It's all with best friends, you know. So, uh, hello, Red Plays. So, um, hello Simon, happy Monday, absolutely happy Monday. So I said to him then, if I ever have children, because at that point I wasn't married, we were engaged, but you know, if I ever have children, when I have children, if I have daughters, I would love to have that relationship with my daughters, that they feel they can talk to me about anything, that they can come to me about anything, talk about anything, that they won't feel uncomfortable if we went shopping together or we were in a car on a car journey together. They wouldn't feel they didn't know what to talk about or anything like that. So, um, Brian from Minnesota, it's a great way to start the week. I'm happy. I'm honestly, I'm up knocking on 100%, knocking on 100%. This has really cheered me up today. Um, so, I always try to foster that with... Um, Oh, I see what you mean about kids being cruel. Not her being cruel to me, but the kids being cruel to her. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, I've, that they always know they can come and talk to me about anything. Um, I've got four daughters and one son. I've got twins. So I've got my eldest daughter. My eldest daughter is the one that's um, going out with um, Mr. Dark JD, the YouTuber. Big time YouTuber man. I've got twin daughters. They come next. So that took me from one to three immediately. <laughs> Take care, Dan. 
look after yourself um, and then we had our son and then Celie G and she was always the youngest and you know and, and I don't know we, we, we're probably closer than all of them I think I'm closer with her than I am with any of the rest of them but I am close to all of my kids Mrs Celie P is a lot closer to our son when, when he was growing up we did not get on my son and I we used to clash a lot um, so mum was always the one he would go to you know so that's one of those things yeah it's I mean honestly I, I, I love it you know I've still got um, the twins and Silly G still live at home my son moved out and, and my eldest moved out and I think both the twins are looking at options for moving out now it'll be weird when they all do all go because the house has always been a hustle and bustle of activity and hence the reason why I've come out here for doing my streaming you know Heavy Metal Gaming yeah check out Heavy Metal Gaming people say I love your content he puts out some great stuff oh, I've got an itch on my back ow 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 uh, Rebel Redneck 98 you've seen one of my streams live hello I'm waving at the mic again hello <laughs> greeting some cameras from Looney Farm Guy good morning from Massachusetts Joshua Clemens the oldest is 30 yeah my eldest was what was she the other day 27 26 Crime now. Well, she, she apparently she's old. According to her, she's old. I don't know. No, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. I'm stuck. Went too high up the wall. Right, disconnect. Try forward. Oh, we are properly stuck. Come on. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. We out. Everest 13 was your first time playing the game. Wow, okay. The oldest is 21 tomorrow. Happy birthday to your oldest, Ian. Wish them a happy birthday for Mr. Silly P. Yeah, we had DJing earlier, Looney Farm Guy, Heavy Metal Gaming. Haven't seen Shorts today. Shorts modding often drops in. That's two full loads. Oh, you know what I need to do? Next load, I need to go and feed those rabbits. The silo in front of me is a bunker. Yeah, the one. Yeah, the one that my John Deere's in. Yeah, it's all good. Kids are great, but grandkids are better. I don't have any grandkids yet. I suppose because you can give them back at the end of the day. It's cool because they love you and they think you're wonderful. And but you, yeah. And I suppose I'll be one of those grand. I, I've always wanted to be a grandparent. One of those cool, quirky. Um, cool quirky granddads I, I want to be pops I don't want to be a granddad or a grandpa I want to be because my dad was always granddad to my kids and my, my uh, Mississippi P's dad was um, grandpa and those two guys to me both I hold them both in such high regards for who they were as people before they both them passed and my kids still do hold them in such high regard that I don't think I would want to take on that mantle so I want to be pops um, I mean, do, my kids call me pop sometimes now so I, I think that would fit really nicely um, and, but I suppose when you think about all the all the toys and all the Lego and all the Star Wars stuff and all the crazy stuff um, Sealy G's channel is just Sealy EG I guess it's that yeah I, I they would love it I suppose yeah. I am playing on controller yeah uh, steering wheel and pedals um, when I'm editing I started saying that all earlier didn't I about YouTubing and being a cameraman and doing everything um, thank you Looney Farm guy that's cool I really do appreciate it. that's very kind of you to say yeah you, you have to, you find yourself doing everything um, that, that when you're filming you're trying to work as a camera crew because you're trying to work out the best camera angles to show things off and to show people what you're doing and 
and then you're also you're a, a script writer an editor because you're constantly thinking about what you're doing and what you're going to say and how you're going to say it you're a performer you're an artist because you're showing what you're doing and you're explaining what you're doing and then when you start streaming obviously you're on camera as well so there's that persona you've got to put across but then you're also you're a brand ambassador you're a an accountant you're um you're an editor you're a social media i don't know whatever they, they refer to them as you do everything you know every single step so when people when we we're talking about burnout weren't we we're saying about burning out when people say how can you burn out you're just playing a game if i was just sitting playing a computer game for hours and hours and hours every day no i probably wouldn't burn out because i'm just sitting playing computer games but there's so much more to doing this than just that you know all the various you know i suppose social media manager you 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 are responsible for all of it absolutely everything for your own publicity your own publicizing your own merchandise your own your, your own graphic designer you, you know when you're making your own thumbnails you know, it's all of that stuff it, it, it's so much to do and so much to get your head around and I've just suddenly thought this isn't gonna fit under there is it or will it fit there we might just do it. Grass in for the rabbits. I said before the end of this stream, we would get some in the silage clamp. We would feed the rabbits. They are still, and this is one of those things I said before. When I did the rabbit episode, it didn't get particularly great views. I mean, it's not as good as some of the other episodes. If you'd have gone back to FS15 or FS17 and said, wouldn't it be cool to have rabbits? People would have gone, whoa, rabbits, whoa, that's mad. You, you know, you look at Bally Spring and you look at all the baby animals and stuff like that. Um, it's a bit nuts. Right, let's go into the menu. Let's go down and save the game. Save the game. Lawrence reminded me, keep saving that game. <laughs> it only took three hours to feed the rabbits. You're absolutely right, yeah. I could have just bought a grass bale. Could have done, just done that, couldn't I? Uh, oh, I need to be on court farms and we go up to the animals 100% grass is in water's in the rabbits will breed like rabbits um, productivity we're fine for our grain and we're fine for our chickens they are going yeah so now I only save twice when I'm leaving the game if I'm exiting the game yeah I'm still streaming farm only you've been out for lunch lunch what's that I must admit, I am Hank Marvin, but um, when I'm doing keto, and I, so I'm, I'm back on keto again, I eat what they call... Intermittent fasting can be done in different ways. It can be you can miss days out, or if you go from... I only eat once a day in the evening, so you're going a full 24 hours between meals. Um, so I'll early in the evening with Mrs. Silly P, and it'll be a keto-friendly, keto-healthy... Um, thing sometimes during the day if i get to a point where i really am struggling i might have a bowl of peanuts or, or uh, um, dry roasted peanuts or something a little bit of cheese something you can have on keto but not too much because if you put too much in because if everyone says oh you can eat as much bacon as you want as much cheese as you want as much stuff as you, you, you can't because if you eat a lot of cheese which is basically a, a lot of fat and that kind of stuff um you want your body to burn the fat that's in your, in your body to lose weight. Whilst you're not eating carbs and sugars, if you eat a lot of fats, then your body will just burn those and it won't burn the fat in your body. So you have to be careful. So yeah, every now and again, I'll have a little snack during the day. But again, like today, because I'm streaming, and I know that I'm assuming they haven't dropped mods, no one's said it yet. Um, but I'll get to that point where I think, you know what, I need to have something. Or I'll get to, you know, if they drop a lot of mods on any given day, I might get to um, 8 o'clock, half 8, 9 o'clock at night and I haven't eaten. I miss seeing people come and say to me, are you going to have something to eat? And I say, well, yeah, but I need to get this done. I've had this really weird, annoying problem with YouTube lately as well, where my videos will upload, I'll render them, I'll upload them to YouTube, and then YouTube has to process them. And it has to render them from SD to HD. And it used to be it would go quite quickly. Then I went for that really weird period of time where it would take hours for some reason it started doing that again where i will upload the video it will process it um and then it will say that it's going to take 90 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes to to render it hd and it just sits and sits and sits 
And if it's been late mods, say if mods drop at five o'clock, and there are a lot of mods, and I've prepped everything, done everything, I've done the mod, mod review, and it might be processing at eight o'clock at night, and then it needs to process till half past nine, um, then you find yourself in a situation where you're not sitting down to eat dinner till 10 o'clock at night. You know, it's, it's, it's a difficult one to balance, and you, you kind of have to. Um, I mean, there's all different diet plans and diet things that work for different people. I have found personally for me, keto works for what I'm doing. It's not everyone's cup of tea, not everyone likes it, does it, agrees with it, and that's absolutely fine. If you find something that works, that's brilliant. Um, I, I can't stand tight water. Oh, Mississippi P loves the stuff. Oh, but Mississippi P likes her gin. Um, and the, the problem is with, you can drink clear spirits. So vodka and gin, as long as it's not a fruit gin or flavoured gin, are okay on keto with regard to they don't have calories in, they won't put weight on, as long as you have them with, you know, Coke Zero or Pepsi Max or something with no sugar, but they knock you out of keto because your body then processes the alcohol and not the process in the, uh, for keto. But um, she's been drinking um, alcohol-free gin. Um, which doesn't so you, she gets the flavor of it without you know but then she gets to the point where she doesn't even do that so you know we're rocking and rolling <laughs> Mississippi is out the window See, Emma came in you can come in if you want who wants to see Miss City P? Edward Canada hello Edward farmer Foley uh, loony farm guy delayed rendering yeah it's a problem oh let me put it onto let's let's go full screen Mrs. Silly P in her pajamas, brilliant. In my pajamas, in I'm really pajamas. sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise you were B going to do that. Busy, <laughs> busy day at the office for Mrs. Silly P. I haven't even had time to get dressed yet. Hasn't so. even had time to get dressed. No. But I hope you're all well. Good to see you all. You busy? Uh, we've been going for well over three hours now, I think. Awesome, okay. <laughs> and uh, the chat's... Yeah, look. Hello, Miss Silly P. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Yeah, good to see it you. Went, all. It went mad when when Emma came in. Silly G came in. I bet she was in a pajamas. The brains too, behind she? the brawn, absolutely. Auntie Travis, hello, 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 hello. hello. The boss is in the house. That's you are right. quite the boss right. Is in the house. She does wear the trousers, even if they are pajama trousers. They're rather nice pajama trousers. Though. Thirty-five thousand liters. We're good to go again. Right, leave it to it. Love you. Nice Thank to you very see much. You all. Take care. <laughs> there you go. So, so people still do come and visit, which is lovely. I'm not I'm not too far away. Farm Dog was kind of in the screen a little while ago and then um, disappeared again. He's um, was it Warrior that said he wasn't well? I was looking at the chat that scrolled through quite quickly. Um, sorry, is he not well? If it if it was Warrior, I'm sure it wasn't Warrior Bismarck. Hope you feel better soon. Get out while you still can. <laughs> the Miss CP Live with a special guest, Silly G and Mrs. Silly P. Both YouTubers. Kind of. You're absolutely right. Behind every great man is an even greater woman. You are absolutely 100% correct. So, have I done what I set out to do? Well, I've done a bit of harvesting. I've been a, done a bit of harvest delivery. I've done some bale delivering. We've gone and collected some different bits of machinery. I've stolen a mower. Um, we have finally fed the rabbits. We're putting the grass into the silage clamp. It's all gone really well. I'm very happy with this. I'm just going to have a double check on the on to see what where we're at with regards to the stream. We've been going two hours fifty, not quite three hours yet. Two hundred and sixty-five concurrent viewers, four hundred and thirteen likes. I thought we'd have more likes than that. That's all right. That's all good. Uh, so let's minimize that get this unloaded and I think at this point is where I'm gonna end the stream I've got the jobs done I said I was gonna do I was gonna oh the clampets we were talking about the Beverly Hillbillies <laughs> I took it to be repaired you're quite right bad Adam I, I took the mower up to the store because there was a bit of tinkering that needs to be done I didn't have the parts so you know I haven't plugged my Discord or multiplayer. I plugged the multiplayer servers mm -hmm. earlier. The, the, the Chi portal's up in the top corner. Um, that's been there the whole time. Um, I plugged that earlier on in the stream. 
and um, yeah the discord server don't forget discord um, the, the, all the links are in the description or the, should all be there jump on the discord the guys over there are fantastic they're really helpful um, obviously we've got our multiplayer servers running from there as well but if you want to jump in there and chat I'm going to talk to those guys about setting up a QA and a um, little forum page so if anyone's got questions they want to ask I might do a stream where it's just a and a stream where, I, where people can put in the discord what they want me to answer and I can go through a few questions so that might just be a camera on me type one it might not be the game plan it might just be camera on me and we just chat just talk about stuff I don't know um, whatever whatever we think um, people would want to do um, but I think I'm going to go down and clear the rest of it I will get it into the clamp and we'll get it compacted I will get that trailer back down to the fields and I will get the rest of that harvest done um, it's still a fantastic day here as it always is on court farm the scenery is stunning and stellar and wonderful and every now and again you can just stop and look and take a big sigh and think that's just amazing but anyway thank you all it's been so many lovely people in the chat so many for me famous faces and famous names all these people that have been with my channel for such a long time you know and new guys that are new to the channel and there's been so much lovely friendly you know it's been great i, I can't thank you guys enough you guys all get and you get a thumbs up and you are all farm dog approved that is official you're all farm dog approved how does that make you all feel? I hope it makes you feel good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, this is going to be one of those really awkward ends because I'm one of those people I don't know how to end the stream. So what I will do, I will take the camera off so you can just hear my voice. Camera off. So from me on Court Farms oh, for episode six, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've had a good time. I hope you enjoyed being in the chat. If you have, Please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then of course, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>